Hey everybody, my name is Spicy. Um, I'm here to showcase Resident Evil 4 today. This is the newest story game that came out. Uh, it was super, super popular on release. There was so many people running it, so many different strats were, were found. Um, on Couch With Me, I have my wonderful girlfriend, Miss Graziana, Hello. and my two good friends, Catlink and Captain Ezekiel, if you guys want to introduce yourselves. Hello. Hi, I'm Catlink. Hi, Captain Ezekiel. <laughs> Miss Graziana, just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> just having a good time. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get straight into this, because we do have some walking in the beginning. I'll do a countdown, if you guys want to count down with me. Sure. Three, two, two one, one, go. go. Okay, so a little bit about this run. It's, uh, it's a pretty volatile run, being professional. Um, something that Capcom likes to do in their new games is the hardest difficulties. They tend to not put checkpoints in. Um, so really the only saves we have if things go wrong is that any saves I can make at typewriters along the way. And um, we will be doing a lot of making those safety saves. Uh, Zeke, if you want to touch up on the story and kind of like why we're actually here and what we're doing. Yeah, so um, similar to the original, if you've played it, uh, we are playing as Leon Kennedy. Um, we are here to essentially uh, rescue the president's daughter, Ashley Graham. Um, we skipped a few of the cutscenes at the start, but essentially we're transported here um, and into, I believe it's Spain? Where are we at here? I don't remember. Uh, this. Spain, I think. Spain. It sounds about right. <laughs> Somewhere like that. That's where we're at here. And the whole goal is we need to save Ashley. Now, um, how that mixes in with gameplay is we're going to have a lot of different sorts of situations where we have to escort Ashley places. Um, and if you play the original, you might have thought, wow, that could be kind of a pain. And rest assured, it is also it a is pain a here. Pain. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> Arguably more of a pain with the new system that they put in for her. It's really hard to get her through some of the areas. Thankfully, we have. Um, some skips and some different methods of getting you through those areas, so it's not that bad. Um, the first little tech that you see me do here is spamming crouch. Um, originally, we just used this for stair skating to go faster upstairs, but we figured out it's actually faster anytime you're in combat in this game. So there's two different states in this game. There's in combat and out of combat. And whenever you're in combat, you move slower than out of combat, uh, because out of combat is supposed to be like a, tra a traversal mode. But if you spam crouch, you move quite a bit faster. Um, and uh, it makes it getting through areas a lot easier sometimes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we're working our way towards the first pretty scary area in this run. Um, going to make a save with this typewriter. Unfortunately, this typewriter is still a bit away from this area, and uh, it is one of the scary areas. I'll let Zeke explain when I get up to it here. But we have time for one donation probably here. Sounds good to me. We got $100 from Emily saying, oh, shoot. I added an extra zero to my donation for the donation train. Thank goodness it's going to an amazing cause. Let's get more of a game my beloved partner, Audrey, was once 10 minutes off the world record with. RE4 Hype! $117,000 out of the 160. Everyone, you're doing great. Keep it going. Yeah, make sure we get that separate ways running. That'll be a really fun one, too. Yes. So village. Village. Yeah. <laughs> village. You want to take it away as you come to Yeah, village. so this is the village. This is uh, the most replayed section of the game and probably the most condensed RNG section of the game. So what Spice is going to do is he's going to shoot this first Ganado a few times um, just to either get him low or to kill him. He's also going to time an execution on this guy, so he also dodges uh, this lady here with a pitchfork. The whole purpose of this is we need to get 15 kills to end this section. We need six to start the second part of this area. So he's throwing a flash here to stun the enemies in this room. He's going to throw a grenade and kick. Um, we're looking to get as many kills as possible. Nine. He has nine. Oh, that is incredibly crazy. good. That you actually really good. almost triggered the yeah, cutscene. <laughs> um, so nine kills is perfect. So now we only need six more. So what's going to happen is Spicy is going to go up here. He's going to grab this shotgun and this grenade. There's going to be a Ganado usually climbing this uh, ladder. He's come through this window. Um, looks like uh, he's calling me a liar, so it's fine. Uh, Spicy's going to come out here and throw a grenade and jump down. We need to hit 15. We have 13 currently. Um, so Spicy's going to uh, hopefully dodge some enemies. Oh, he gets grabbed. That's all random, not much you can really do. But one more kill should ring the bell, and that's the village. There we go. Very clean. There nice. It really is about as good as we can ask for for a marathon. Yeah. Absolutely. The reason why that's so hard and why we say it's so random, I'm going to cover that enemies all have random sets of health. Um, they come from a different type of pool, but they all have different health. So a grenade can sometimes kill 10 enemies. It can sometimes kill zero enemies. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why that's so hard and why we reset there so often. But that is so good for a marathon. <laughs> yeah, especially in professional mode, the nades, the normal grenades tend to just not be very good to begin with. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely one of the more reset-heavy sections of the run, and it's right at the beginning, so it's like, okay, well, it's not that bad, but it's also <laughs> not great. <laughs> yeah. Not amazing. We got new strats uh, over the months that made it a little bit better. Oh, yeah. It used to be really, really bad, but... Yeah. 
Made another safety save because there's another little coin flip up here that could kill me if it decides to. Let's see, pick up some f a few items that Ruby will need later for money. The money routing in this game is another thing that's gone through so many changes, and uh, it's pretty optimized at this point. We kind of pick up very minimal items. Can probably get a donation or two here. Sounds good. We got fifty dollars from Whimsy saying hello from the audience. An unmet incentive. No thanks, bro. Let's get this bonus run. Thank you, Whimsy. And we also have ten dollars from Ashley saying one ten dollar train ticket for away from here, Leon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys. Let's see, uh, some more crouch walking here. Up here on the cart is where I was talking about. There's going to be a mm. there's a bolt enemy that spawns when you pick up the cog wheel, and we're going to hope that we don't have to deal with them here when we push this out of the way. Nice. You do have iframes when you're pushing the cart here, and this guy might swing into it, or he's going to wait it out. Uh, he's he's, he's waiting. Yeah, yeah he's, he was waiting. That's okay. We're going to be picking up some extra heals, so we'll be all right. Yep, that's a, that's kind of a perfect example of how random the game can be. Yeah. Is uh, he sometimes, most of the time, just swings into the iframes, but he perfectly spawned camp <laughs> and just waited. Or sometimes the bull guy will just come in and take a huge swing, and it's like, oh, okay, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah. If the bull guy does what that guy does, you're dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the one way to get back to village. Mm -hmm. Up here we have our first uh, out of bounds of the run. There is quite a few in this run, actually, so a surprising amount for a Resident Evil game. Um, if you want to explain this one, Kat. Sure. Uh, so basically, this is Larry Skip. So basically, what Larry is is there's a guy named Larry that we so called him, and we're trying to skip him because he <laughs> takes a while to get to you and this big explanation. We're going to go into this tripwire, go straight out of bounds, using that interaction to basically push us, and that allows us to go into the mountains here. So we're going to take a little detour, and that's going to bring us right to the end of the chapter. It's quite something how it got found. I'm not, I can't remember exactly how it was found and who found it, but. I believe it was actually found on a random TikTok I th somewhere. I think so, we yeah. It, it was like really random how it got found. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. There's a little safety orb here I'm gonna grab. I have to do it really slowly because I could fall out of bounds there and just kind of get stuck forever. Yeah. If you fall out of bounds, basically, you're just infinitely falling. But that's nice. chapter, that's, that's the end of the chapter. That was a scary chapter. Village is not nice. Yeah, but yeah village is. Uh, well. yeah. That was good. Village is behind us. Going into chapter two here, right at the start, you uh, get all your weapons taken away for a little bit, and you only have knives. We're gonna try to avoid killing every enemy here. Um, it's a few little meme things that can happen if you get unlucky, but hope we don't see it. Uh, you probably get a donation in here. Hey, we got twenty-five dollars from Toby Throws. Saying shout out to the best run coming so far. Get this spicy show on the road and get separate ways on the road. I mean, come on. Don't you want to complete the RE4R with the DLC? Let's get this game in. We are well approaching $120,000 out of the 160 to get separate ways on the schedule. Everyone, you're doing incredible. Keep it going. Thank you, Toby. Thanks, Toby. Here, we're going to turn this wheel for the door over there. Um, what I'm going to do is when I go back through here, I'm going to hold my camera backwards, which is hopefully going to make this guy aggro later so I don't get hit going through this window. Nice. And then this guy's in a good spot, so we should get through here. Nice. Here. That is so nice. It's so scary. If that guy at the window is too early, um, he will stop spicy. And on professional, they made it so that those wheels that open doors actually close significantly faster. Um, and so anything that stops you at all, even for a millisecond, will prevent you from going through that door. So that's good. That's good, good RNG. That is good RNG. So now. I'll let you explain this <laughs> Yeah. So we're coming up on um, what is uh, infamously known as Red Mist Valley. Um, why it's called Red Mist, I hope you don't find out, but um, <laughs> essentially we're in this valley here. Um, Spice is going to shoot this red barrel. This is going to pull a lot of the enemies uh, to it. Um, there's enemies all over it with different types of weaponry, uh, hatchets, uh, and pitchforks, but the biggest, scariest one is uh, dynamite. Um, so Spice is going to jump in here. Um, this guy is a little bit of a coin flip, but we take care of him. We grab this flashbang. Now, you can see these little white arrows around the screen. These are dynamites. Um, if an enemy uh, so chooses to throw the dynamite in a place where we are not expecting it, um, if it lands underneath Leon's feet, not at full health, you turn into red mist. <laughs> um, 
It is brutal. This is uh, kind of an RNG packed point. You can see there's explosions just going off all around him, but Spicy's cool, calm, and collected. Um, we climb up here. Uh, this guy's a little closer than he normally is. Uh, we're going to go around a few more Ganados. We need to turn this wheel up here in order to open the gate back up. Spicy's going to shoot this red barrel to kill the enemies there and shoot this guy's uh, explosive out of his hand so he doesn't uh, drop it underneath his feet, which he can do um, to kill Spicy and uh, himself. Spice is going to jump down. Now he's going to enter in this building and go around a pitchfork lady to grab a yellow herb and a first aid spray. Um, that seems to have gone well, and it's just that easy. He's that out of Redness Valley. Red he's too good. He's, he's too good. <laughs> Something I uh, didn't really touch on before, you see me kind of pausing before I'm shooting sometimes. Uh, we call that pause buffering. Um, because of the way this game accepts inputs, it's really easy to just pause before you shoot to make sure you don't miss. So really, it's just to make sure that we don't miss shots. Just makes it a bit easier. Yeah. Because um, missing any shots in this game at like any point can be very detrimental in a few parts. Absolutely. Any single miss shot could actually just mean death at any point. Even where Spicy just was, if he missed any of those shots, it, it he just dies. And especially on new game, you're very limited to your resources. So <laughs> if you miss a shot, it's like, well... <laughs> There Even uh, just handgun ammo. Handgun, we actually use yeah. handgun ammo to sell for money a lot, so any extra handgun ammo we use is money down the drain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can probably get a donation in here. Oh yeah, we got $25 from Rhea saying, this run of Baldur's Gate 3 looks weird. <laughs> Who kept <laughs> staring a gun? <laughs> Thank you, Rhea. I've heard that comparison I said the time. same thing. <laughs> 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 Uh, we do have the... Was the goal met for the dog? We do have that coming up soon. Oh, that dog. Oh, yes. Yeah, dog. you're saving the dog. We Woo! are saving the dog. Hooray! 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 <laughs> Huey! We will be saving Huey, but we will not be doing it in the way that uh, you would yeah. normally see where we would uh, interact with the trap. Uh, just to tell you why, if you do that, um, it actually ch dramatically changes a boss fight that we actually can't afford <laughs> to change. Um, so we will be saving him, but uh, it won't. Yeah. It will be just a little bit different than probably what you're used to. Yeah. So saving Huey heals the boss. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as much as we love Huey, we can't <laughs> save, we can't heal the boss. Um, but we will be saving the dog regardless. And that's the end of chapter two. Yeah, by the that's way. the end of that chapter. Yeah, we're past a lot of the really big RNG parts now. Which is nice. Time to save the pupper. <laughs> Pupperino. He's right out here. Yeah. Get him. Let me take a little detour. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Poor oh. guy. So yeah, we can't open the trap. Normally, there we go. Woo! Go, oh, here we go. <laughs> go, buddy. <laughs> we love you. We love you. <laughs> Unless you ruins our account too fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Though it's cool when he's in the fight, but unfortunately mm -hmm. for speed runs, it's uh, not ideal. Yeah, Capcom loves their random HP reset, resets on boss fights. So. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of random HP resets, um, if you've seen on the bottom left of the screen, we haven't really talked about it, but we do use a tool in this game called the SRT, the speedrunning tool. Um, it's allowed for runs because running this game without it's very, very difficult. It lets you see HP enemy bars, boss... Uh, boss health bars and the amount of kills you have, which is really important for a few sections, like the village part in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, yeah. that's why that was done. That, that tool is very important. There's also another tool. Um, if you're paying attention, you'll probably see that sometimes you'll see a controller input up here uh, when Spicy's interacting or doing stuff. Um, so we have what's called a, a virtual controller application running. Uh, this is something that was allowed for the run because uh, we discovered that if you were to plug in a physical controller and also keep your keyboard and mouse plugged in and hold down a button on the controller and on the keyboard at the same time, it will switch between each input on every single frame, um, which, which you're talking thousands of inputs uh, very, very fast. Um, we did this because when you get grabbed by a Ganado, um, the mashing that is required to get out, it will hurt your hands. Um, so yeah. we did this um, to allow that um, to be a little bit better, as well as it has some other benefits, such as uh, allowing sniper clipping, which you will see later. I will not say anything else on that. Um, <laughs> and it made it a lot more consistent. So that, may, that answers. If you've been seeing that and wondering, that's what that's from. Honestly, the double input being in this game made it uh, a lot more enjoyable to run. Oh, yeah. You don't have to mash on all the interactions. There's another little piece of tech that I've done twice already, but I can explain it here since there's nothing else going on. But um, with the double inputs, also, the first time you pick up an item, you usually get a prompt, but if you interact with something at the same time, like this picture, 
If you see on the top right, I got the diamond, but you don't actually get the uh, pickup animation. Saves a few seconds. Yeah. We can get a donation or two in here. All right, we got $100 from Spike Chandelier. They say, hello, stranger. This is for the separate ways run. Would be a shame going the rest of your life wondering what if. <laughs> nice. Thank you. And we're over $120,000 towards the 160 to get separate ways in the schedule. Crowd, how you feel about separate ways? Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? <laughs> chat, you heard them. Gamesdonequick.com slash donate. Put it towards that incentive. Exclamation donate in the chat. Let's get separate ways in. <laughs> yeah, it's a very fun run. You guys definitely want to see that one. Um, you just saw something a moment ago, um, and it's important to touch on it because how significantly different it is in professional, which is parrying. This is a unique mechanic to Resident Evil 4 Remake, which is a super cool mechanic. Um, essentially, what, what you can do is you can receive prompts when you're about to get hit by an enemy's weapon. Um, doesn't apply to every single hit, but a majority of them, uh, where you can parry it with an active knife that you have equipped. Um, it's a cool little flashy uh, trick, very lenient on uh, casual, standard, and hardcore. However, mm -hmm. on professional, we are limited to what is called perfect parries. You have to parry when the uh, uh, attack is about to hit you. You cannot mash, you cannot hold, you have to do it perfectly. Um, so anytime you see Spicy hit a parry, uh, it's, it's crazy cool, because it, otherwise... <laughs> very good timing. It, it was yeah. very good timing. <laughs> it's very similar to that of like Dark Souls parrying or mm -hmm. yeah. stuff like that. And uh, now we're going to the fishing village, which in the category that I'm running right now is a bit different, if uh, you want to explain that, Zeke. Yeah, so um, there is another category that recently got split from this one called uh, Any Percent. This is Any Percent, but no DA0. There's a bug that exists where you can manipulate what's called your difficulty adjustment. Um, this is something that is present in uh, a lot of uh, common uh, and modern RE games ever since Resident Evil 4 OG, um, where the better you do, like the more enemies you kill, the less damage you take, the uh, harder the game comes uh, becomes rather, and then uh, in the inverse, if you get you know destroyed, it becomes a little bit easier. We can manipulate that in this game in a very specific and long drawn out way that I won't explain. That essentially makes it so that you had to go through this area perfectly. You could not get touched. You could not parry. You could not do anything to affect this. The reason for this is because we set it up in a way that made it so that it was a, a bug, and the game would think you're actually playing on like like casual, but like below casual, like, um, and we'd go to Del Lago, which is coming up shortly, and you'd be able to kill him in seven hits on professional, which is not, uh, oh boy. Okay, we have eggs. We got we eggs. We got eggs. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> And that's why it was split. That What you just saw right there is why we ended up splitting that yeah. from the main category, because his run would now just be dead. Yeah. <laughs> so getting, we, don't, we don't want that. Getting hit in this section, is just it just happens like all the time. So yeah. <laughs> Very cool when you do get the DA0, but yeah. when you don't, it's like, well, no, OK. Well, I'll go back home then. Yeah. Back to the village. <laughs> back to, back village. to village. <laughs> All right, time for Del Taco. <laughs> Del Taco. This is the first sort of boss fight of the run. Um, I'm going to switch to 60 here because the waves in this fight are much, much uh, smaller on 60 than on 120, uh, which is really important for actually being able to hit him. Uh, we do also have like a technique in this fight for throwing these faster. Um, basically, if you see Leon, he's like sitting back down after I throw. That's because I'm not aiming anymore. If you release aim after you throw and then re-aim again to throw, it's uh, quite a bit faster than just throwing it how you're supposed to. Um, and Zeke, if you want to explain the one cycle here while I try to get it. Yeah, so what happens is um, we have a certain amount of time and a certain amount of spheres to hit Del Lago. If we do not hit um, every, or at least a majority of the spheres we throw um, before he does what's called the dive, um, which you'll see an example of what that's going to look like here in a moment where he sets up for it, um, we need to have him dead before that dive because what happens is when Del Lago dives, he actually heals himself. Mm. Um, so we want to hit a one cycle. So Spicy's gonna time these spears here for when Delago comes out of the water. That was a good hit. Mm -hmm. That's another good hit. Yeah, and if Del, Do uh, Del Lago goes into phase two, he is a lot more sporadic, random. He's healed at that point. One more. And nice. there it is. Woo! No phase two, let's go. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Face too scary. That fight was a nightmare when we first started routing before mm -hmm. we realized. We were like, is it just RNG? Like, does he never just die? Because uh, the fight could last so many minutes. But And then when we found out he got healed, it was like, oh, oh okay. Capcom I see loves you. doing that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Here I'm gonna send some stuff to my inventory. Um, I sent the knife that we start with because we need it for a fight later in the game and uh, I wanna make sure it doesn't get damaged before we get to that fight too much, so we just sent it to the box. Uh, it also helps a little with inventory space and I sent the shotgun because we're gonna be selling that at the merchant and uh, I need some inventory space up here. And uh, we can get a donation in here. All righty, ready? I got $10 from the shifty one saying, I haven't heard a hooray from the crowd in a while. Where have they all gone? Bingo. Hooray. <laughs> hooray. hooray. Thank you. <laughs> you probably got like two more in. Just want to make you all aware we are less than $32,000 away from Ooh. getting several ways on the schedule. Ooh. Your love and your generosity, and of course your cold hard cash going to the PCF, it's going to make that a reality. So everyone keep those donations coming in and put towards that incentive. Let's go. Yeah, everybody's got to get this guy yeah. for several ways. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a um, section where we're going to just hang out on a boat for a bit. we got to go pick up some stuff. Um, most of this chapter is pretty chill. There's not too many dangers except at the very end, but the danger that is at the very end is a bit scary because I don't really get to make a save uh, for pretty much this whole chapter until it. So if I do die on that, it will be a, a pretty big setback, but it's pretty rare. You get a donation here. Oh yeah, we got $10 from Demonic Robots saying, hi, Spicy. <laughs> I've seen the amazing amount of work you'll put into this game to get here, and I'm glad it is paying off. You're an awesome streamer, and glad you are on the big stage. Oh, thank you, Demonic. Thank you. We also got ten dollars from Veyu saying, "Gotta see that separate ways run. Gotta see more GDQ. Gotta help beat cancer." Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. We also have ourselves one hundred dollars from Move Feet. Their comment reads, "RE4 is one of my favorite games since I was a kid. I remember playing it on GameCube when it came out. Mm. I lost my grandmother to cancer not too long after that, and this." It just feels like the right time to donate. Thank you, Move Feet. We appreciate your generosity. Thank you, guys. Now, RE4 is a big, big nostalgia one. It was especially for me when the stream was coming out. I loved uh, OG RE4 mm -hmm. on GameCube. I was um, I did speak to someone recently, I think in the lobby, about um, how bold it was to remake what is already one of their most precious yeah. entries in the franchise. It was definitely mm -hmm. risky. It was a super risky move, and it paid off. Yeah, they killed it. Amazing. Like it is, it is. You know, people say that they feel that this could be better than the original. I think both are just uh, amazing, and yeah. they did such a good job with this game. Yeah, they very, they stayed very true to a lot of the original. RE4 like ideas and everything like that, the mm -hmm. boss fights and all that. There was a few instances where like, oh, why is this not here? And you'll understand why later. <laughs> but <laughs> no. Trust the process. Trust the process, <laughs> yeah. There was one thing we picked up on that boat ride that uh, we didn't have time to mention, but we did pick up, uh, we stopped on island and we got a golden egg, which is very important. We're actually not using it for money. We will show what it is for later if you don't know. Oh, I can't wait for that. We are baking a cake. <laughs> We're baking a cake, yeah. What kind of cake do you guys want? <laughs> one with a golden egg. Yeah, one with a golden egg. <laughs> one with a golden egg. So a golden cake. All right, golden gotcha, cake, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, okay, gotcha. Uh, this is the area Spicy was talking about that's a little scary. There's a lot of enemies uh, on this, only this part of this area. Um, for the most part, a lot of their behaviors are scripted until we get up here and we pick up the last piece we need for the area. There's going to be a few enemies that throw uh, molotovs, um, some enemies with a pitchfork uh, and shovels. Uh, and, and pipe bombs. So the big thing here is we're just trying to avoid getting locked into any sort of like animations and getting grabbed. So Spice is going to jump down here. He's going to shoot this treasure. Uh, we got a guy with a shovel here. Ooh. Nice crouch. Never nice. good. Uh, going to run these guys here. So Spice is going to open up the store. We hope no Molotovs drop underneath our feet. Perfect. Nice. nice. Very nice. clean. Nice. So what can happen there is when you stop to open that door. There's a few Molotov guys in that cave, and if they end up on the path back to where you're trying to get to the door, uh, if they throw a Molotov on the door as you open it, uh, Leon will just start flailing around because he's on fire and you can't open the door. <laughs> you're just kind of stuck there in the Molotov. Yeah. yeah. I have, have <laughs> had that happen. Honestly, the RNG in this run so far has been pretty insane. Yeah, it's been really Not good. Bad. Get another donation in here. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a Jash coming with a hundred dollar donation to PCF. They say that separate ways run is gonna be juicy. <laughs> Let's do this chat. You are all so smart and so brave. Thank you, Jazz, for appealing to the intellectual and uh, and uh, and uh, courageous vanity of chat. Who are coming in? 128,722 out of the 160,000 needed to get separate ways on the schedule. Zeke's, Zeke's excited. Zeke, you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> He's so excited, he just can't hide it. I can't. I, I'm, <laughs> you guys will want to see that run, trust me. 
It's very similar to this run, but just kind of condensed because it's yeah. about half the length. Mm. It's a really fun one. No set up for Gigante. Mm. If you want to explain what I'm doing here, Zeke. Yeah, so Spicy, everything we've done up to this point is to stack our heals. Um, unfortunately, and as painful as it was for all of us to find out, the most expensive things you can sell are your heals. Um, so we grabbed all of our items, uh, red, green, yellow mixes, all our um, first aid sprays, we're going to sell all of them to buy a sniper, a scope, and we're going to upgrade this thing uh, because we have a boss fight coming up. Now, this sniper is going to be used for a strong majority of the run. Uh, this thing is very powerful when upgraded. Um, we realized it is actually extremely strong um, when we were routing, um, and it's very important that we have it where we need to. So all the routing we do and have done has been so we could get the heals we need to sell to do this. Now, money isn't just for this. We're going to have a lot of very explosive items we're going to buy later uh, that we need a lot of money for. Um, so you'll see a few merchant stops throughout the run. It's very That's critical to the whole run. And now Spicy is going to do uh, the Higante fight. So Ooh. this fight starts with Spicy uh, shooting a couple headshots into uh, Higante. A couple pause buffers because his movements can be very sporadic. Um, especially when the Plagas is uh, revealed, which it is now. So he's going to reload back up to five, do an uh, ammo uh, reload cancel, uh, hit a couple more shots on this. And now what's very crucial about this is he's canceling the reload of the bolt. And he's going to hit one critical shot here. This forces Higante to phase again as he stands up, which gives Spicy time to reload. Hits another shot on that, and he's going to send him back down to the ground. And a couple more shots on this here, and then all he's going to do is pull out his pistol, drop a few more shots in Higate. Come on! There it is! Ooh, that's it. Woo. That was clean. That was so good. I love that. Yeah, that fight is not too bad unless it goes like off script. As soon as it goes off script, it, uh, it's he, rough. He can charge sometimes, so when he charges, it's like, well, I'm going to run now. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you can't do much if he charges. Yeah, I mean, no. you can't parry it. You can't really move out of the way. It's pretty bad, but that was a cool fight. That was good. Yeah, and we also got a rifle drop, which is very important. To get Ooh, one. Nice. We love that. Mm. <clears throat> and now we are on our, on our way to get Ashley, unfortunately. Yay. <laughs> we, got, we got her right here. We found her. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Spicy's gonna run up into this church and do a puzzle. Um, a lot of this is uh, kind of just holding W through Smitty, so I think that, now would be a good time for some donations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Zeke. All right, we got ourselves uh, fifty dollars from Captain Sassy Pants. Uh, I'll do the OG merchant with this one. Let me try it. What you boying? I hope it's the separate race bonus run. Let's make it happen, stranger. <laughs> How was that? That was good. That was good. That was, really that was good. good. That was really good. We also have twenty-five dollars from Ashley. Ashley says, shout out to the game I can't have on in the background because people keep saying my name. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have $10 from Zero with two O's. They say, this has got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and we are approaching $130,000 out of the $160,000 to get separate ways into the event. Let's keep those donations coming in and put towards meeting that bonus game. Let's do it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you, Zero. Thank you. And yeah, this is the end of this chapter. Nice. Next chapter is uh, very, very scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the collective, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, it's fine. It'll be, all, it'll be great. We do have one strat here at the beginning of this chapter that makes it significantly more bearable to run this game. Um, so the sniper clipping that we talked about earlier, I think this is, yeah, this is the first time we use it. Um, and it's actually, you'll see it up here, usually this whole run up to cabin, you would have to have Ashley with you and, you know, protect her from the enemies. And that was really, really bad when the game first came out. We were trying to route around that and, like, figure out how we we're going to get her past the enemies, and it was really hard. But it turns out we can just do this. <laughs> and if we do this, uh, Ashley actually just gets stuck up there, and we could just leave her. And, Bye, uh, Ashley. Yeah, I guess. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Yeah, it makes this like, much easier. <laughs> Here, I shoot a shot just to get this guy to throw his molly earlier so I can dodge it. <clears throat> and then we dropped some rifle ammo on the ground here earlier. We're going to pick it up now. Mm. I'm going to do a bit of extra looting to see if I can get another rifle, rifle drop just to make sure we're good on ammo. A lot of the time, you'll skip a lot of this looting when doing like PB attempts, but it should be safe for the marathon. That was a lot of potatoes you just got. Yeah, that was rich. <laughs> Rolling in it. Get another, another donation in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got ourselves a way separator coming in with a donation the amount of six 
thousand dollars. With a very simple very nice. command, let's separate some waves. <laughs> Thank you, wave separator. All right. Um, if you noticed earlier in the village, we didn't really mention it, but I shot out the window that I just jumped through. That's because of those two guys right there on the path. If you don't shoot out the window, then when you jump through it, you'll break the glass, which will alert the enemies. That's unfortunate. Oh, oh. So yeah, there's a little like, thing you can get here where this guy will just rush you down on the door, but that's okay. We have eggs. We got, we got eggs. eggs. We got eggs. <laughs> we got eggs. Just don't use the golden yeah, egg. Don't eat the golden don't egg. Don't, the golden don't eat the golden <laughs> egg. That would be very bad. How are we going to pick the cake? How are we going to get the golden cake? How are we going to get the golden cake? And also, your stomach's just going to feel icky. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so here, I was waiting for this guy to turn around, because if you go too early, then you'll have to shoot him. Uh, we really need to save our rifle ammo as much as we can, so... Got this guy. He's hanging out. Oh, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> to circle him a bit so we can go in here and make a safety <laughs> saver cabin. Surely we won't have to use it. Yeah. And all no, will be well. Surely. But we love cabin. Mm. I mean, we're going to remember what you said in the practice. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. <laughs> Don't cry. Oh, 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 hello, buddy. <laughs> Goodbye. Hopefully. <laughs> Zeke, if you want to explain cabin here. Yeah. So cabin, um, a kill-based, uh, event-based situation here. So what Spicy is going to do is he's going to try to hit some collateral shots and break a few windows. Ideally, um, we want to get... Uh, Six kills here before another guy shows up, which will give us our seventh kill. The seventh kill is uh, going to spawn a wave of enemies. Um, we need to make sure we hit at least ten kills. So Spice is going to throw a grenade as they run out. He's going to wait a second and throw another one to make sure everyone dies. What this does is it hits the kill trigger that we need to start having enemies drop boards. This guy will always die and drop a board. The next enemy that dies, that does not turn into a Plagas, will drop boards. So what Spice is going to do is he's going to throw a grenade at this lady who jumps in. And he's going to shoot her once, make sure she dies to the grenade so she cannot... Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's oh. That's okay. Let's throw another one. Oh, she's resilient. And uh, that gives us the last boards. We mm. cannot kill her by normal means because she will plug us and you can't get the boards. Mm. Now all three boards are in place. It sets up uh, wave two. Um, Spice is going to go upstairs and loot up a bunch of boxes and he's going to get in position to do some uh, precise shooting outside of the cabin because there's three guaranteed enemies you can get for free and we need to kill five. Um, so Spice is going to wait here and the cutscene's going to play in a moment. And where Spice is aiming, there's going to be a, a fella standing there. Hey, buddy. Not Bye anymore. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going to take out a guy climbing the ladder and one more that's going to come here with a shovel. Those are the three guaranteed non plagas kills, and now there's going to be a few more enemies throughout the cabin that are going to show up. We're trying to get to the ones down here, um, and we want to make sure we get the ones that don't spawn plagas. So there's going to be one more enemy we need to kill. It can be kind of RNG if he uh, spawns a plagas. Um, we don't want that because it makes the room so much harder. Um, he's going to shoot this guy, and now that's perfect. That's five. The Now wave three, we have a cow spawning. And now four shots to kill this guy unless we get some crits. Um, so one, two... Three, four, and, and now we have to survive and loot this. Uh, we got a fella here. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> and fella spotted. Fella. We just got to live. Fella's getting a little wild. That's it. There we go. Oh, hey, Ashley, welcome yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> a little unlucky there. We didn't get any right flammable drops in the mm -hmm. cabin, so I did have to craft one, but that's okay. It should be all right. That was really clean. Yeah, not bad. Let's go. And then uh, another scary chapter. Uh, honestly, from cabin up until like the end of chapter seven is really, really scary uh, for a lot of different reasons. Aren't they all yeah. just scary at this point? They're all, pretty, they're all yeah. pretty scary. We used to talk about these three chapters as like, mm -hmm. like, cool, you made it out of village, but now you have to play the rest of the game. <laughs> these three chapters were like the worst for it because there's a lot of intense skill checks. Higante, uh, cabin you just saw, and another fight coming up shortly. Um, so we'll see that in a moment. But first, we got to sell some stuff. Spicy is gonna get rid of a few items. Um, we're gonna try to get a much better weapon and upgrade our case. Also, get a flash grenade recipe. This shotgun that Spicy's picked up, which is the riot gun, this thing is significantly good at uh, clearing out enemies and, oh, and making life easier. much easy. better. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot better. A lot of the time, you can kill people when hit with it, and if not, it knocks everyone back. So it's mm. very, very important to have. Yep. And uh, we have a little bit of a stealth strat for this. Yeah, um, and the reason that I reloaded the checkpoint there, or the save that I made rather, um, was to reset the enemy positions here. <clears throat> so that we can get the two stealth kills on these guys, so that we can loot this treasure up here without being bothered. Yeah, sometimes there are tactical resets with the saves just for consistency's sake. 
when the enemies are just roaming around, they're not exactly where you need them to be, and it's, it just makes it a little bit messy. Mm. Here, we shoot the archer to make sure that we don't get shot in the back here. We throw a flash, and we're hoping Ashley Does not catches up with us here. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, can you just, like, <laughs> try and get with it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh! oh! Right in the butt! Right in the <laughs> That's Wait, nice. we got eggs. <laughs> I've never, ever in my life since that happened. Oh, uh, boy. Excuse me, sir. Nice, Ooh. Perry. You cheeky little Perry. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, the reason that we come in here is usually you don't come in here in runs and uh, mess with this guy at all, but um, I wanted to be able to make another safety save there, so... Because the fight coming up here is... <laughs> Honestly, it might be the biggest reset point in the entire game. Yeah, this is brutal. Yeah. Chainsaw Other than sisters. Village. They got a lot to say. Mm. <laughs> They've got a lot to say about them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, why don't you go in there and tell them? <laughs> so here we do a little skip uh, that skips just running around this area. You can shoot this lock through the little crack. And then we're going to tell Ashley to hide in here. Right here. And uh, Zeke, if you want to explain what's going on here. Yeah, so when Spicy picks up this crank, two sisters are going to spawn. The one in the green dress is the one that we want to kill. It's going to be two shots. Nice. Uh, she got the good RNG. She turned around. Oh, nice. Now she's going to drop and die instantly, which causes the other one to go berserk. Now, this is where it actually still gets significantly hard. There's enemies everywhere. We need to go and get this crank in a door and turn it and open it and get us and Ashley out. We have some awful RNG right now with these fellas. So Spicy's going to throw a flash. Mm. And he's going to put this in. It might still be okay because the guy next to him got flashed. He might go for a grab. Once he gets out of his flash, if he punches me, we're going to be in the trouble. But if he goes for a grab, he can't grab while I'm doing this. Yeah, this he is went for a grab. There you go. So now we're going to try to go through here. Ashley now has to make it to us. Um, this is where we're praying. Everyone hold, pause, that Ashley makes it through. You can do it, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> she made it through. Okay, there you go. Nice. Very nice. I was pretty scared there because I already had to craft an extra rifle ammo. If I had to craft an extra flash for that too, we would have been hurting for resources. So yeah. I'm very glad that she don't get grabbed. From one scary section to another. <laughs> and off to the next one. The Mendez chase is a little sequence here. Now, it's fairly scripted. However, um, you are at the mercy of Ashley's AI. Uh, so what's going to happen here is Spicy needs to get to the end of the section. Ashley cannot be too far behind him, and she cannot get grabbed. Um, Spicy's taking care of these enemies. They all die in one hit. Um, playing it safe by making sure we take care of all the enemies because Ashley will get stuck, and then she won't make it. So perfect. Mm, there you go. Nice, nice. shot. Yeah, Ashley can get stuck on that on that wagon right there. And if she gets stuck on that wagon and you don't notice, Mendez will grab her and then you have to go through it all over again. And yeah, no, you don't want that. I'll do my job. All right, so time to do the merchant skip. Uh, essentially, as you saw, did it really quick. <laughs> Basically, interacting with the merchant will allow you to essentially go out of bounds by pressing S at the same time. So it's kind of a little wonky how we managed to make it work. But as you see, Spicy just does it in... <laughs> Two clicks, he's done, he's out. But hi, Mendez. Hi, Mendez. Yeah. He's really hanging fun. out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, he's just, you know, looking over the water. He, he was, he's a little upset that he didn't get his little showtime. He's waiting show for time. his cue, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, the, uh, the Mendez skip is actually kind of insane because it skips, well, it skips the Mendez fight, which allows you to save so many resources, and especially on professional, it is terrifying. Yeah, and that's <laughs> chapter six. Yeah, that's chapter six. No just want to update y'all if that's okay. Yeah. On the incentive, we are currently at $131,855 out of the 160. And if you all notice, we're about a quarter of the way through this run. So it is now time mm -hmm. to get those donations in to put towards that incentive. We got $100 from Jam Loose in the Game saying, Hello, Merchant. One separate ways bonus run, please. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? Will that be all then? Come back anytime. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I know, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. All right. Here we have uh, another scary section, if you can even believe it. Can you believe it? No, I, I, you know, I can't. It's nice. The catapult section here has a lot of volatility to it just because you have to worry about Ashley on top of the catapults. You have arrows coming at you, and you have to make sure that you kill specific enemies uh, so that way it gets a little bit safer. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> It gets spooky. But you also want to uh, shoot some of these barrels here, and the reason for that is that it gets rid of some of the catapults. And, like, Ashley's not getting grabbed so far, so that's good. We do not want that to happen. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. yeah, that's good. The whole area is very scary because we have to we have to clear the way for yeah. Ashley, and we have to get rid of the catapults that would otherwise kill Ashley. Um, all the, those guys dying to one shotgun shot is actually critically important yes. to the remainder of this. Um, so this cutscene kind of stands everyone still, nothing's happening. And now what Spice is going to do is he's going to grab this large resource and he's going to make Ashley stay here. He's going to force Ashley to get grabbed doing this. Um, this is because we're going to abuse a flashbang and a, the way area advancement works with Ashley. Um, so he's going to call her back now. She's going to get grabbed on the bridge. There is a chance she doesn't. Okay, yeah. she does. And now we're going to throw a flash. It's going to drop her and stun all our enemies in the area. What this does is when we go into the castle, because we switched... Oh, no. Uh -oh. Okay, so yeah, there's one thing that can happen here where she will get regrabbed. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so a way to gonna fix do that. Is, yeah. There's a way to sort of fix it if we get Kinda, lucky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fingers crossed. What we're going to do is we're going to make a save and we're going to load it. And it's going to make Ashley not be in a grab anymore. However, she can't instantly get regrabbed. Yeah. We might be okay. Mm, crossing our fingers here. Um, yeah. That is the one way on professional that you can possibly save a scenario like that. On standard, generally, you just reload a checkpoint and hope that the same thing occurs. But we're going to hit a cutscene right here, and she should be right here. Seems good, yeah. She's good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That was a real scared for that area in practice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not going All well. Right. But. It's sniper clip. Oh, what? what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Leon! Okay. What? Oh, that was that's crazy. A first. That's, I have never that's seen that before. That's not supposed to happen, though. That's not <laughs> Skills. <laughs> yeah. That was... That uh, side guy's just crazy. That guy's <laughs> crazy. He just right through that the door. <laughs> We're getting revenge now. There he goes down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, basically to explain what just happened right there, um, Spicy just went through the door, otherwise you wouldn't be able to. Uh, that's using the double bind and turning around very quickly with the sniper scope. Uh, while you're doing that, you want to look down and turn around as fast as possible while interacting with the door. And when that occurs, you just get onto the other side and you can open it. It is very interesting, you can only do that on very specific doors, but it's very satisfying when it happens. So, uh, water, uh, water room. <laughs> water hall. We <laughs> water love hall. water hall. Um, this uh, water hall in the remake is, um, you know, it's a varying opinion experience, either as bad or equally as bad or worse or easier than the original. Um, this one is a bit more scripted. However, this first part, very random. Um, the whole uh, premise of what we have to do here is grab this wheel and... Uh, lowered two bridges so that we can get up with Ashley and get over to the second part, which is significantly more consistent. However, this first part is brutal. There are enemies everywhere. Um, we're going to be abusing uh, flashbangs uh, in certain areas of this to ensure Ashley doesn't just get yoinked away. Um, so we're going to uh, hold this down here. If we're lucky, these guys will sleep a little bit. They won't uh, touch Ashley. And then we're going to go up to the second floor. This is where it gets kind of scary. There are archers everywhere. Um, and all the enemies are just going to beeline to Ashley, and we got people with scythes. Mm. Um, so, nice magnum drop. All right, good magnum drop. Yeah. Nice. Um, oh. oh. Ashley got beamed, but that's, oh. <laughs> we're not going to worry about her yet. Ashley got taken. That's actually not the worst, because we have... That's yeah, we, we do got some flashes to... She's being taken close flashes? to me, which is good. Yes, she's like a do. flash okay. close to me, so... There we go. Yeah, having flashes for this section is uh, vital. Just because she will get grabbed. She got and she's again. downed again. Yeah. Ashley, are we doing okay over there? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, in, in a normal run, that would be uh, uh, a significant amount of time loss because you have to wait for her to wake up. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're waiting. Wake That's up! Like, oh, there we go. There she is. <laughs> uh, now we're at the second part of Water Hall. Um, I know, so much is going on right now, and it never stops. That's basically just how this game works. You got to roll with the punches. Um, so we're going to get Ashley up here, and she has to uh, turn a couple of wheels to increase, uh, or not increase, but bring this bridge up. So we're going to turn this one, and she's going to turn that one. Four scripted enemies are going to spawn here, um, and they're going to get a little tired. So they're going to start walking. Uh, thankfully, that's perfect for us. So Spicy's going to actually use his handgun for this to preserve uh, sniper ammo. And we're going to try to kill all four of them using it. 
Uh, usually, depending on crits, it takes three to four shots to kill each one. Uh, and what we're going to do then is line up. So what's going to happen is more enemies are going to spawn up top while Ashley tries to run across. We need to make sure she doesn't get stopped for any reason. Um, enemies are going to spawn down below. So we kind of have to navigate this by avoiding enemies below while killing the enemies up top. Two script enemies are going to spawn here. We're going to try to kill with a collateral. Very nice. Ashley is going to run around to that wheel. And we're going to get over here to get the other script enemy that's going to sprint out of this door. Minimal now. Right there now. He is. There he is. Uh, and now there should be only one more scripted enemy to spawn out of the other door. So we're going to come over to this side and we're going to force the enemies down below to come to us. Try to get another cool uh, here. Oh, nice. And now we're doing a little bit of dance with these guys here. Um, so Spicy is going to sit here and uh, stun that guy out of his shield. And we're going to run around and avoid getting hit until the bridge comes all the way up. And the bridge should be coming up here in just a second. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> these guys are these guys are going crazy. Nice go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we don't have to worry uh, about Ashley at this point. She will she will show up. <laughs> and uh, assuming she makes it across the bridge, but it sounds like uh, she did. That is uh, she's she's out chilling. <laughs> she shouldn't get grabbed though. Once you cross cross the bridge all the way, she kind of she the goes. Sort of That's a great water hole. Right it actually was there it Good job. Not bad. And, uh, that's perfect. That's, we're finally at a lull of, of all the excitement mm. over the last three to four to seven chapters that we've been in. <laughs> now for the next scary chapter. <laughs> uh, I think we actually have a little bit of downtime here, so I think it'd be a this. good time for donations. Hey, thank you, Zeke. We got uh, $15 from What is Love? <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. That's their name. What a bop. And their comment reads, Hello, stranger. What are you buying? Ooh, so you want some spicy for your golden egg omelet. <laughs> Perfect choice, stranger. Perfect for the separate ways run. Thank you, what is love? We also got $30 from Mike Wave. See, hey. can't think of love anyone. Better to do these runs than my boys Spicer and Zeke, both of whom have been on the ground floor, along with so many others, pushing this game to its absolute limits. Love you guys. You're both going to kill it. Speaking of Zeke killing separate ways, currently sitting at $132,000 out of the 820. I think we're getting to the close here. I think we need one last push of donations to finish that off. What y'all think, crowd? I can't hear you. What do you think, crowd? Woo! Let's get those donations in. Punch on that incentive, everyone. Let's do it. All right. And yep, right into another exciting section. <laughs> this is the Red Zealot. This area is a little bit more tame, but it is another mini boss encounter. Um, we need to kill that guy up there and get his uh, his lantern. So we did started this off by shooting a few things to force him to come over here. And we hit a crit at nice. some point because uh, he is down for the count. <laughs> <laughs> he he got his out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, 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 We have eggs. Okay. Mm. We do oh, we have got eggs. eggs. We, got eggs. we got eggs. We're running low on eggs, guys. We're going to need to go to the store. Do you got any more eggs? In this economy? You <laughs> 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 can probably get another donation in here. Hmm. Yeah, we got ourselves uh, $50 from long way down. See, I'm a little behind on my donation total normally, but here's $50 to get us closer to that separate ways. DLC. This RE4 run is bringing back good memories. Y'all are making me want to break up my Wii copy of the game. Yo! <laughs> Sounds like a blast. The Wii motion control version of OG is actually really, really fun. Here we have another puzzle we didn't mention yet, but all the puzzle solutions in this game are completely set. There's no RNG to the puzzles at all, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Thank God. <laughs> no, yeah. We have enough RNG to deal with already. <laughs> all the puzzles are set, but there's one caveat to that. Uh, Casual and standard share the same puzzle solutions, and hardcore and professional share the same puzzle solutions, but there's no, they don't all share it, right? So it's just those two uh, uh, difficulty lumps, which is actually, I've never seen them do that before. So um, it was an interesting when we realized that when we played it casually. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, great. Here, there is a strat to pass this guy without shooting, but um, I don't feel super comfortable doing it because we're a little low on heals. I think we're just going to go ahead and shoot him. Christ. Yeah, you know, better safe than yeah. sorry. <laughs> Here we have another little bit of a scary part. It's not as bad as the previous parts we just did, but um, there is one part of it that is a bit risky. Um, Zeke, if you want to talk about that. Yeah, so we have um, a little bit of a skip here. It saves actually a lot of time uh, by cutting some shortcuts. Um, we're going to take out these enemies, and we're going to hope we don't get too stopped by these shield fellas. 
Um, Spicy's gonna hit this switch to go up these stairs here. Now, normally you're expected to go up and around and hit a whole bunch of switches and destroy a couple uh, weights that are holding these gates closed. But what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna run over here and we're gonna shoot and we're gonna do that. <laughs> it's just gonna open it up. <laughs> just, um, just a little shot. Yeah, and then we have another one here to open this, but this is where it gets tricky. We have to throw a grenade through this little hole up here uh, to skip this one. And now um, we're gonna line this up. This is a hard toss. Oh, nice. nice. That's cool. That arch will sometimes lie to you, just bold face lie to you, and yeah. not go anywhere where you told it to. And it's just like, oh, that's nice. Just, just kidding. kidding. Yeah. Just kidding, yeah. A nice dodge Ooh, nice on that dodge. grab. So the whole idea of this section is there's a, there's an armored Gigante up on the wall to our right, throwing a bunch of stuff at us, um, and we just want to be faster than him. So the way we do all that is gets us around it just fine. But now, uh, to wrap this area up, uh, and to close out the chapter, is we're gonna raise this cannon up. And we have to shoot two of those weights to bring it up. And what we're gonna do is go to this cannon up here, and we're gonna use it to shoot the armored Gigante, right. so uh, these Bye, Gigante. Bye, Gigante. Bye, Bye. Have a good, good sleep. <laughs> we're gonna also <laughs> use it here to kill these three enemies that are blocking the way, or at least try our best, because sometimes it doesn't hit them. And then blow up the door. Um, that was that whole section. That was very yeah, good, actually. That was really yeah. good, actually, yeah. The nade is really scary because if you miss the first nade, like you'll just start getting destroyed by mm. the enemies in there. Yeah, and also you're just limited supply on nades, so yeah. it's like, hmm, I could try, but. <laughs> All right. Sorry. And that is pretty much the end of chapter. What is it? Eight. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> well, which chapter? On? Where are they're, we? All, we're, they're melting. It's all a blur. Together. That's all a blur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting confused. Can't get a donation here. Yeah. Yeah, that donation train is still rolling about for getting separate ways under the schedule. I have an anonymous $50 donation saying, 10 tickets to the train, please. All aboard! <laughs> choo choo indeed. $133. 420 out of the $160,000 to get separate ways into AGDQ. Come on, let's make games done quick. Awesome. That's a great idea. What y'all think? <laughs> Thank you, Anonymous, so much. Here, we're going to grab a little bit of a safety heal, this Viper. Then we have the maze section. There's a bunch of dogs in this section. Um, most of them, like that one, I didn't even shoot them. They're, they don't really do anything if you just ignore them. But there are a few that we have to kill. Um, the ones in the cages we definitely have to kill because they do get in our way. Hopefully I hit both of them there. I did. Yeah, they don't play nice, these dogs. Not, Not as long. Mm -mm. Killed this one. And then there's another one on the right here, but we can just ignore this one. I'm going to tell Ashley to wait and then follow again to make sure that she doesn't get grabbed by that dog. Okay. And uh, the goal of this area is to raise these three, or lower these three flags to open the gate in the middle there. And uh, they're spread out throughout the maze on these towers. Hey, yeah, for the most part, this section is very consistent. Um, we have set strats. We know where the dogs are going to spawn. We know where the enemies are going to spawn. This is actually a very little RNG um, mm -hmm. uh, section. However, um, the dogs are still a, tr a problem. So there's some in a cage here. One of them is a scripted Plagas. Spicy's going to throw go. the grenade over to skip it and kill this guy before he can actually Plagas. I believe he died. Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, so if that dog plugs us, he's going to become a big problem. Um, and they take, they become significantly stronger. Um, so Spicy told Ashley to hold that lever down. And then we're going to run around here uh, while she does that and hit this flag. And this is the second to last flag. What this one will do, though, is it will spawn um, a set of enemies that are going to run after Ashley because the game sees that you're now separated from her, so they want to send fellas after her. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is... Uh, kind of stand in this opening that you're going to see over here. And Spicy's going to take shots and kill the enemies that are going to go towards her while also making his way towards the last flag, um, and which will set us up to get into the castle. So there's going to be this guy here, and another one oh, who ran ahead. He's zooming. And then yeah, this that guy zooms frequently, but you can kind of just kill him after you do the yeah. thing, hopefully. Yeah. These three enemies act as like a just straight up death trigger for Ashley. Even if she's nowhere near them, if these three enemies don't die and you try to progress, she'll just die. Mm -hmm. So you have to kill these three enemies. They either have to be killed or stunned. Or stunned, um, yeah. To make Something's gotta to happen to them, yeah. but then. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. It's not great. There we go. Nice shot. Back oh. eight. He's still alive. Is he alive? He hey, sir, we just don't do in the head. Please die. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Ashley saved. 
What? Uh, never mind. No, Actually, no, no, no. not. Was safe. it a dog? Oh, uh, might have been a dog. Yeah. Oh no, it was a person. Where'd this fella come from? Where, hello, sir. You were not. I actually, invited. don't know who that is. I don't know where that comes <laughs> from. Who is that? Who? Is that? <laughs> who did you bring me? Who is that? Can I see your badge, please? <laughs> uh, now we're in the castle. There's a bit of looting before these sections coming up here. Um, I, I feel like we might have some time for donations. Oh. Thank you, Zeke. Got uh, ten dollars from Lion, saying, "Hey, spicy Woo! crew." Sad I couldn't make it this year, but watch it from home with Levi in spirit. Much love for you and the gang. Let's keep this good RNG going and kill this run. We knew you were meant for this the moment you were made in the lab. <laughs> happy birthday and happy running, brother. And let's see that bonus game. Less than three. Almost $25,000 in change remaining to meet it. And we're in the back half of this run almost, everyone, y'all. So the time to donate is right now. Thank you, Juan. All right. Little skip here. Um, what's supposed to happen in this room is as soon as you step about halfway on that bridge, um, the there's a guy that comes out and he lowers the bridge, and you have to kind of like go all the way around and put the bridge back up to get out, uh, to get the head and then get out. But if you throw a nade as you hit the trigger for him to start running forward, he'll actually die to the nade or get knocked back by it, and he won't be able to pull the lever. And then we use a flash guy there because there's a lot of enemies that start swarming if you don't flash there. I think it was one of the first skips that were found for this game. It was a little one, but I think it was the first one. It's a nice one. Yeah, it's nice, because that room in itself is not fun <laughs> to deal with in a speedrun sense. Uh, so having that little skip makes it a bit easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nighty night nights. Now we have nights. Oh, good. Yeah. Stay up there. These guys are um, a very scripted encounter, but they require very precise and very um, on, uh, an, ex an extensive amount of knowledge of how they operate in order to do this successfully. So what Spice is going to do is he's gonna shoot this guy a few times to expose the Plogus and kill it. Um, and now what he's going to do is he's going to beta swing from this guy. And what's going to happen is when Ashley sees that, she's going to throw down fire. And this will stun them. He's going to do a kick to kill the f these first two sets of nights. So that's two out of the, I believe it's... Uh, what, seven that we have to kill? I believe so, yeah. Um, so this guy's gonna spawn. He's gonna do a similar thing where he shoots him, and he's gonna shoot again when he raises his weapon to knock him to the ground. He's gonna use the iframe for the kick. Oh, oh a little, a little, too, a little early. too early, yeah. Uh, Ashley threw the fire, uh, and now we get to do another kick, which automatically exposes the Plagas. And now we have the last three that are spawning. So what Spicy is gonna do is he's gonna kind of round him up like, like he's a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna go around here and he's gonna get this guy to come closer to him. And while the other two are behind him getting closer, he's gonna run around. And Ashley is gonna throw the fire now that she saw that mm. this guy tried to swing at Spicy. And he's gonna try to pull him into it. If we can get a little, there we go, perfect. Nice. And two kicks and one flashbang. And that's nice. That guy the bugged out. He didn't get... He didn't, he didn't get nothing. He was like, you know, I feel like keeping my helmet on today. She should have a third one to throw. I no, I already used all three. Uh, very, I've actually what? never seen the knight get kicked, but not yeah, sure. That, 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 was, that was very odd. That was He's going off script. Good job. <laughs> Nighty night nights. So Rosie will form up in the first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's we like have... our second or third. <laughs> that's never happened before. We've had a already. few moments today, that yes. That's like crazy, yeah. Come on. Not too bad, though. That was good, yeah. I'm glad I used the Viper before, because the uh, overhead swing that that guy hit me with here when I did the kick too early, that would have killed me if I wasn't full health. Mm -hmm. I'm looking pretty good on ammo. This is the part of the game where your ammo is uh, pretty random. Uh, you really need like a certain amount of drops to get through the game at this part, but I got pretty lucky this time, so we're doing good. Yeah, and the whole idea of what we're trying to do here, if you haven't picked up on it, is we need to get three heads um, for this uh, statue up here. We got two of them. This third one, there is no enemies um, that we have to deal with. Um, we just have to make Ashley sit down, so I guess she's the enemy if you really want to think about it that way. <laughs> um, so we make Sorry. Ashley sit, and then, <laughs> and then we go sit down, and uh, we ring our bells, and it gives us the head for free. A dramatically easier experience than what we just had to go through. Looks like we figured it out. Yeah, and then after this, it starts the Ashley section. I'm going to go down and make a safety save before the Ashley section. Hopefully, we don't have to use that because it would be a pretty big loss if we did. Mm -hmm. but. And uh, you can get a donation in here. Sounds good to me. We've got $5 from Silver Inferno saying, Stranger, can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Silver Inferno. Approaching $135,000 out of the $106,000 to get separate ways into GDQ. Chat, y'all doing great. Keep those donations coming in. And remember, put them towards that incentive on the donation landing page. Thank you so much. Let's get it buttoned up. 
Uh, I should warn here, coming up, there is an audio warning. There's a very loud part coming up here. Yes. Um, because of the double blinds that we used, a sound gets spammed and it's very loud. So yeah, it's when we approach the clock. As soon as you see a clock, you <laughs> c- any gamers with headphones on, you might want to cover your ears. No. A bit. No. <laughs> <Very> good clock. <laughs> yeah. It is a necessary evil, unfortunately. Um, yeah. It's coming up uh, right now, so please turn your volume down. Yeah. I hated that. That's <laughs> pretty bad. That's lovely. It's a great sound, really. So mm-hmm. I don't I don't really know what's happening here when you do that. Um, that's actually not the right time for the puzzle, like at all. But for some reason if you turn it that way and spam the double inputs, it just it just works. It just lets you through. <laughs> I have no idea why it it's works. Like, like we that. definitely made it to the right location on the clock, but we're you know, it doesn't look like it, but we did. <laughs> no. There's a little bit of tech in Ashley. Ashley's really straightforward. There's really only one part uh, that you're really in danger of dying in. Um, coming up on the way back out of here. Other than that, there's not much going on in the Ashley section. There's a little bit of tech you can do on the stairs where if you tap A and D as you're going down, uh, you move a tiny bit faster. Ever so slightly faster, but... Uh, Ashley it. is a one-shot kill, though, so if she does get touched, she will die instantly. It's not a good time, but it's pretty straightforward. It's really... Comfy. It, it's still a little stressful, but it's as comfy as it gets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as you can see, we can use this lantern to sort of freeze them in place, mm-hmm. which we do a few times. It's got the anti plagas thing going on. There you go. Should be able to squeeze through the gap here. Yeah. Nice. There you go. And uh, you can get a donation or two in here. It's just a pretty long section. Hey, thank you so much. We got $25 from Lummy saying donation train to bonus game. Choo choo! And wow, we are we're almost at $136,000. These donations are coming in. Keep it going, everyone. We also got $50 from Interhermit, St. Chat, Crowd, no one panic, but the donations are coming from inside the stream room. <laughs> Let's all stay together for now, but we can go separate ways after this run. And yeah, let's do separate ways after this run. Zeke, what do you think? Yeah, I think that sounds like a good that's idea. Good that's a great idea. Good. Let's mm. let's pencil it in. Keep those donations coming in, y'all. Yeah, going back to this room is completely scripted. There's no way you ever really die here. You crash through here, and then when you run by, all the knights activate, but you can just kind of hold W through here. We can get another donation in. This part's super long, so. Absolutely, doodle. We got fifty dollars from big old PhD saying had to donate during my favorite series. Absolutely loving this run. Let's get that separate ways run. Thank you so much, Big. There's also a skid pad with a fifty dollar donation saying watching GDQ is a family tradition. That's cool. Even though watching Leon is great and all, uh, but let's get Ada on the screen. Separate ways. Way to go, GDQ and PCF. Thanks, skid pad. Thank you, guys. Very excited for the separate ways run. Yeah. We got to see what Ada's been up to. <laughs> oh, she's been commentating RE4 for the last, like, an <laughs> hour. <laughs> um, you just saw Spicy go to 30 FPS. This is the first time we've gone to 30 uh, before we went to 60. Um, this would not be a Resident Evil RE engine game if we did not go to 30 at some point. Um, we dropped to 30 there, so Spicy could just run right past that night. To give you a very short explanation of how that works, the lower your FPS is, uh, models can clip into each other way more generously. Um, your model just kind of slips back and forth as the game just wants you to go. Um, the higher FPS, the inverse happens. So we go to 30 there, that's one of the allowed spots that we can do that in the run, so that we can just hold W past that night. Otherwise, you just wait at the bottom, and it's just very slow. No, yeah, it's only the place that, the only place in the Ashley section that you're like really in danger of dying if you mess that up. And uh, unfortunately, if you die there, you go really far back. But mm-hmm. we got there. That's the yes. chapter nine. That's chapter. chapter nine. Woo! There's a little bit of a goofy strat here. Um, it's not RTA friendly, but I just wanted to show it off. I can. I'm basically I'm moving right now. You can't see, but I'm moving in the background. Um, usually in this part, you spawn in a cage. Um, but if you move in the background, you can end up all the way at this door. Usually you spawn in the other room over there. <laughs> Very nice. Saves a bit of time. And now we get introduced to these lovely Ooh. little bugs. <laughs> We're going to do another door clip here just to squeeze by it, because normally you'd have to go a completely different direction. So using the door clip with the uh, sniper allows you to just go right into this room. Uh, now needing to deal with a ton more of these. <laughs> Oh, us guys, <laughs> they love hanging out, um, but they're not too, too bad. Uh, Spicy's going to be using a lot of flashes to get through 
uh, because they can swoop in, they can do a lot of damage as well. So using flashes are, is quite optimal for this section. Yeah, this is kind of the part of the game. At, the, at this point, the game really wants you to have body armor. Mm -hmm. um, so these enemies do so much damage if they hit you, but they we don't have body armor yet. So yeah. uh, basically any hit we take right now will put us to 1 HP. Mm -hmm. Any any enjoyer of Resident Evil 4 OG or even the remake will know that these are the Novistadors, uh, the Novis. Uh, we love these guys. <laughs> um, not as bad in the remake as they are in the original, because we know in the original how random they can be. They are very random here still, um, mm -hmm. but uh, thankfully there's a little bit of foresight as to them, so they don't just cheese you all the time. Um, but they still hit you like this. Ooh, yeah, see, we got eggs. Don't worry. We have eggs. That's our last egg. <laughs> that was our last egg. We're out of eggs okay. now. So have quite a few heals, so we should be pretty safe here. Okay, this area can be very rough um, and not like super easy to get through. Mm, I tried oh. to shoot. Oh, okay, we're not dead. We're not dead. We're alive. We're alive. It's we're fine. Loving. It's okay. <laughs> that is a brutal run. Oh, yeah. Worst, I think the worst part about that, and guys, you'll never believe this, but it ain't over yet. <laughs> oh no, we go it from is not. One brutal room straight into another. This is double the double guardor room. This yeah. is only one guardor on every other difficulty, but on pro, it's funny. So we have two guardors. <laughs> um, what Spicy is going to do here is he's going to round this corner with the magnum, take out a scythe guy who is otherwise incredibly problematic, um, and take out a few enemies so they don't uh, get in the way. He's going to throw a grenade at that <clears> guardor, <throat> and he's going to get over here and shoot this one in the back. He's going to shoot it twice to expose the plagas. He's going to turn to his right and shoot the other one to expose its Plagas. And now he's going to throw a flashbang. This is going to damage this one and kill him. And he's going to switch over. One more shot to this one. There they're both go. dead, but the enemies are still in the room. So we're not safe until they're both completely gone and we are out of the room. Put that one unicorn head in. Hopefully no enemies nearby are getting but, cheeky. Mm, that's pretty much that's pretty much double Gary's right there. You just have to be very <laughs> weary of the scythe. <laughs> the scythe can get you. But that was, that was, that was very that clean. Was very I heard it was pounding for that one. Yeah. The that, issue with that room is is that like you go from <clears throat> Novi to that without a save point, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, that room is very stressful on any difficulty, especially with professional. Yeah, this, <laughs> yeah. this whole chapter, incredibly overloaded. And mm -hmm. It is brutally overloaded. And you'll see why. We have we still have more to go, but... We still got more. We, uh, we're in a little bit of a whole W section. Uh, we might have some time for donations here. Yeah, nice. for sure. Sounds good to me. We've got $50 from Maxi. Sam put it out another 50 for the RE4 lads. Spicy, your speedrunning journey has been amazing to witness over the past few years. You have the skills and the determination and deserve to sit on that big stage. You've got this, brother. Thank you so much, Maxi. Aww. Thank you. <clears throat> and we also got ourselves a $100 donation from Pseudonym. I guess Pseudonym is their pseudonym. Saying, donating because I really want to see Ada's awesome boots. Donating to Perfect Cancer is also good. And Ezekiel, is it fair to say that uh, we might be seeing some special drip with Ada? You, if you guys get separate ways in, you will see some very special drip that Whoa. I had custom made. Custom drip. Whoa. $137,000 <clears> over out of the $160,000 remaining. Everyone keep those donations coming in. Let's get separate <laughs> ways on the schedule, y'all. Let's do it. So there was a little thing that just happened yeah, there. Was a bit going on. Yeah, there was a little thing that happened there. You probably would notice Spicy just went out of bounds and into the void. Um, so basically, when he was crawling under that space, uh, he was basically turning his camera over, which allowed him to, which basically moved Leon going into the different direction and sent him in. To the, into the wall. It's very weird, but essentially just turning your camera a specific way allows you to go out into the void. It's like, okay. He's like, I'm not going to go deal with those Novistadors, actually. I'm going to leave. And we got to levitate out, obviously. Yeah, and we got to levitate out as well. Um, so that was also to go get the crown, which the crown is something that we sell for the uh, rocket launcher, which is going to be very important <laughs> for a few reasons. Yeah, this, this RPG that Spicy is buying, uh, he's going to get some crazy mileage out of it. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to explain in a second what uh, is actually going to happen, but just rest assured, we are going to use this RPG three times. Um, and you can only use it once, so you're probably wondering how that works. Um, we're coming up on the uh, Verdugo boss fight. Um, tankiest guy on the planet. This dude does not die. Um, he takes a long time to kill organically. Um, they almost want you to use an RPG here, especially on professional. You will, ooh, that is good that RPG. Was really nice. that that is good we RPG. like those. 
Um, so yeah, you just saw that cutscene that uh, Spicy skipped. Uh, Verdugo has spawned. Uh, you'll see these little red buttons on the walls. Um, these kind of spawn little, uh, uh, I guess, uh, hydrogen traps uh, that kind of like freeze Verdugo. What we're going to do is we're actually going to abuse a bug here. Uh, this bug is going to play a pretty critical part to the success of the run. So uh, this is going to be called the infinite rocket launcher glitch or infinite ammo glitch. And what we're going to do, Spicy shot a bullet out of his sniper, but he didn't shoot at anything. What we're going to do here is we're going to actually summon the boss fight, start the boss fight uh, by hitting this trigger. And what we're going to do right after is actually start one of the traps I was just talking about. And we're going to get hit by it intentionally. We're going to start a reload. We're going to switch to the weapon we want to infinite ammo and switch to another weapon that has ammo and now the game thinks we have an rpg equipped but we also have the handgun ammo so we get to just let it rip yeah it's like new game plus but without new game plus yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that is such an like, amazing yeah. glitch it saved this run actually actually uh, yeah. this whole part used to be very rough and uh, if you saw i just got my first heavy day of the run um we used to need like seven of them at this point <laughs> with the original routing so uh, it removed a lot of the item RNG when uh, we figured out this glitch and how it works. Yeah. Uh, there is a thing where if you do interact with anything after, like while you're holding it, you go to interact with the wheel or anything like that, it will get rid of it. Uh, so you do have to reactivate it anytime you interact with something else, mm. uh, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, eh, it's fair. We'll take it. Fair we'll, trade, yeah. We'll take what we can get. Yeah. Speaking of good RNG, my man actually just got three Magnum Bullets and another actually heavy nade. That's insane. Yeah, I saw that. We're, I was like, wow. Okay. We're basically set for the rest of the game we're rich. now. Um, we are rich. You yeah. just need a few Magnum Drops. The big drops you need is you need like four Magnum, five Magnum, something like that. And um, you need two heavy nades before the end of the game or else you have to buy the recipe. And I'm really glad we don't have to do that. So. Yeah. yeah. And that's set. the end of chapter that's, 10. That's the end of chapter 10. That's we're zooming. We're here going. Now, what I would say is probably the best use of the infinite uh, RPG glitch it saves so much time and so much heartache. Um, we would normally have to go into this area to get some TNT to blow up this TNT wall. But thankfully, Capcom said, if you have an RPG, you can just use that too. Um, but uh, we want to save this because we also have a boss fight after, immediately after. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to walk into this area. And so conveniently, there's a fella with a Molotov has fire. And we can do the infinite glitch on fire as well. So Spicy's going to run up here. He's going to aggro that guy up there. Now we're hoping RNG's a little bit in our favor and he doesn't get lost and he doesn't throw it at himself. Um, and he's going to throw this down. Spicy's going to kick a reload on his weapon, switch over, do the glitch one more time, and now he should have his RPG out. It's just that easy. There you go. Woo! Very nice. <laughs> yeah, that guy can... Uh, sometimes the sign above him, he'll just like throw the molly too high and it'll hit the sign. And oh, it's, it's the worst when that happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now the RPG is actually going to get used, and it's actually going to get consumed when we start this next fight, which is the uh, double Higante fight, one armored, one not. We used to have some crazy uh, blasphemous <laughs> strategies for this, but Luis, we eventually got to this point. Luis, don't get in the way, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes nice. there, yeah, nice. Yeah, sometimes Luis likes to get in the way there, and he'll body block the entire yeah. RPG shot. And you're just like, Luis, you're still alive, and they're not. It's like, <laughs> they're they're still here too, and I I, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, right after the fight, we watched the second uh, death cutscene because Luis could get like stuck on his leg sometimes if you don't. But yeah, that makes sure you don't yeah. get like soft lock with Luis. We don't like Luis. <laughs> we do. We'll but talk about that for I'll specific talk, yeah. reasons. We can get some donations here. We're about to go into the donation block, which is the <laughs> minecart section where there's really not much going on. So, hey, sounds good to me. We gotta have an anonymous five hundred dollar donation oh. saying, "All aboard the donation train." We have eclipsed one hundred thirty thousand dollars out of the one hundred sixty thousand dollars. Everyone, keep those donations rolling in for separate ways, y'all. Let's do it. Woo! Woo we also got fifty dollars from Chile con Muerto. Ay ay ay! Saying, "Wait, follow me! Wait, follow me! Wait, follow me!" Thank you very much. We also got fifty dollars from Dan saying, "Stranger, here's a few coins towards the other one on the separate ways." But good luck on the rest of the run, mate. Very professional so far. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dan. So yeah, this uh, this part is about six minutes long of just hanging out. Um, there's really no risk of like dying in this part. 
at all. All you really have to do is lean left and right and shoot some enemies. I think we have, a, pistol. we have a clip somewhere. Okay, <laughs> well. Actually. Actually. Okay, you say well. that? <laughs> <laughs> no, in theory, it's not possible to die here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can get some donations on. You got six minutes of donations. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I can oblige y'all. I got fifty dollars from Avu Kamu, <gasps> saying spicy. Remember the times from Village all those years ago, and now look at you, proud of how far you've become as a speedrunner and as a person. Best of luck. Don't let the RNG get to you. Shout out to the lovely couch as well. Thank you, Avu Kamu. Well, thank you, Kamu. Thank you also Kamu. An anonymous fifty dollars donation saying, "Let's go separate ways together. Keep up the great work, everybody. I appreciate that." We have a contribution of $15 to the cause from Anonymous saying, let's not go our separate ways <laughs> without seeing this run. Still at $138,000, but we can get that moving. We have uh, less than 45 minutes in this runabouts. And uh, yeah, let's go and get those donations in. Let's go and do it. You can keep them coming if you have more. Yes. Yeah, you got, you got $150 we'll from We weren't kidding. <laughs> Yeah, I got 150 bucks from the NA saying horror runners are some of the coziest streamers I have seen. <laughs> Big thanks to Spicy and the couch for being awesome. Let's keep it going with some more Ada time. All right, we got five dollars from Be Brave now. Excellent advice. What is Leon's least favorite bug in his apartment building? The resident weevil. No <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Uh -oh, uh, untrue, spinning. though. Untrue, though. <laughs> Weevils are everyone's favorite bug. Come on. Shout us for Weevils. Let's go. Get that $20 Weevil donation train put towards separate ways. Get everything going towards separate ways. Yo, let's go ahead and do this here. Got $50 from Adrian Powers saying, I'm just about to finish my first playthrough of RE Remake on hard. This new game plus professional run is blowing my tiny mind. Let's get separate ways going. Thank you, Adrian. We do have a little break in the minecart section here for a tiny running section. Um, it's a pretty straightforward section. Luis can be a little bit troll uh, towards the end of it. He can just kind of stall. See if he does a little fist pump or something. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to do a little bit of shopping. There's a typewriter here. I guess I'll make a save mm. just in case something bad happens. But... You're saying something could happen on the minecart? Oh, of course not. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, something could happen in this section here, but it is very rare for anything to happen here. Um, generally, you have very set enemy placements. You just hope that Luis just shows up. Just waiting. All right, is Luis going to fix this? Oh, here? he's right here. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. What is he going to do? Holy. <laughs> he can't just roll it up. He was like, oh, we got a show? We got to go. Go time. <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. He's he never knew. that fast. Yeah, he knew we were on GDQ. <laughs> yeah. Back to the minecart for another five minutes. <laughs> and donations. <laughs> donations, donations. We have $20 from R2. Their comment reads, Hey, stranger, let's get separate goers ways then, eh? Where, where would that all be then? Hey, where you going? Good luck on the run and greetings from Germany. RE4, hi! We are about to eclipse 140000 out of the $160,000 you need to get separate ways on the schedule. We're nearly in countdown territory, crowd. How are you feeling about that when we get to 20? It's very soon, what do you think? Can we, can we numbers? Can we do numbers? Yeah, we got to get that, Matt. <laughs> really excited for mm -hmm. that. We also got ourselves $25 from Ray of Light saying, I've been watching GDQ for longer than I can remember now. I'm always blown away by what everyone here is able to do, not just from a speedrunning standpoint, but also the generosity and love on display. Keep up the amazing work, and here's to separate ways. Oh, thank you, Ray Light. A little trick shot here. Oh, right there it is. Oh. Nice. <laughs> He's good. Yeah, <laughs> that, that barrel could be a little tricky to hit with bloom and everything. So getting that is very important, though, for the Chainsaw Man that we encounter, because uh, it does a lot of damage to his cart. No. So basically, you can just shoot the cart and get rid of him. Uh, you can kill him as well, but it's just easier to, <laughs> to just do that. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Later. He was just hanging out. That he was so ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Yeah, and that's that's pretty much brings the minecart section to a close. It's 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 inching its way there. Got a few more, few few more fellas. 
Maybe a few more donations. I can oblige you. We got fifty dollars from Ritz Blues saying, "Then come, Sancho Panza. Let us rescue this uh, separate ways bonus run." Thank you, Don Quixote. <laughs> Go ahead and jab at that windmill. We got twenty-five dollars from Exceptional Potato saying, "Let's separate." those ways let's do it everybody and we are less than twenty thousand dollars remaining to get separate ways on the schedule chat how y'all feeling about that crowd how y'all feeling about that how's everybody feeling about that Woo! keep those donations rolling in and again kindly please on the donation page put them towards that separate ways incentive let's get zeke running this game thank you and i believe if i'm not mistaken this might be where they dug up the bugs is this, did where this is where they dug up the no. This hmm. might be it. Is, it, is this it? <laughs> thank you, Luis. Uh, thank you, Luis. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah. Thank you, good sir. Uh. <laughs> and uh, the thing I was talking about earlier, why we, we don't really like Luis, is because of this part right here. Ooh, he likes to wait around quite a lot. <laughs> if, like uh, yeah, so we have a strat here using the infinite ammo thing again, but with flashes, uh, which has made this section a lot better than it used to be. But uh, let's see, there could be an unlucky spawn up here. Let's see if I get it. No, I think we're clear. Mm. So yeah, we're going to do the infinite ammo with the flashes, which will make this a lot better. But basically what happens here is if Luis ends up uh, fighting a Novi, he will just go to war for <laughs> uh, like a minute and a half. <laughs> um, so we want to try to not have that happen because we can't. We basically can't progress until uh, Luis catches up here. So you can just, he's just going to wail these flash <laughs> grenades like it's no tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to sound like you have water in your ear for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but it helps with getting Luis through this section a lot easier because he's not kidding. He will stay behind and shoot enemies. Like, he will shoot these novies all day. He'll dilly dally. Yeah, I think the longest I've had was like two minutes of him just not showing up. I don't even think he showed up at all. I was just like, you know what? I give up. <laughs> I give up. Oh, oh, no more. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's, oh, here. he's oh. here. Let's go. Oh, Good Louise. Louise. <laughs> Louise. <laughs> <laughs> Super fast, Louis. Actually, nice. Yeah, he's been he's been really good today. Cooperating, yeah. <laughs> you know, he said that he heard that you hated him, so he's like, "Oh, okay, I'll be better today." Yeah. Now we have the most RNG boss fight we have ever seen. Mm. Mm, yes, our good old buddy, old pal. This is Krauser. Krauser. <laughs> So this is a knife fight with Krauser. Um, essentially what's going to happen is what Krauser decides to do is random. Um, he can start like a crazy combo. He can do hits you or force the parry. Ideally, we want to kind of get him staggered like that um, so that we can kick him. And we want these ki crit, uh, kicks to crit. Mm. Um, so we're going to kind of try to stun lock him if we can, but he did a sweep. Nothing we can really do about that. Nice. There's another one. Kick mm. him again. This is a very hard fight to do without getting completely owned by Krauser. Another kick. We have not gotten a crit. Yeah, there's not been a single crit. Mm -hmm. He's going to do the Street Fighter combo. There you go. Come on, keep going, keep going. So Spicy intentionally lets him get hit there so he doesn't get locked into a, an animation where he has to mash out. Another yeah. kick here. There's the oh, crit. Oh, there's the crit. And that's the fight. Nice. nice. For some reason, the... The like damage multiplier on kick crits is like 45x or something. That's so kind of wild. It's the difference between like one crit is the difference between like a, a 45 second fight and like a 20 second fight. It's insane. It does so much damage. Yeah, and now we have a bit of an ele two actually elevator rides. So I think we have some time for donations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank y'all. I got a fifty dollars from Goose Wife saying, "Growing up, I was way too scared of RE4 to play myself." My brother's solution was for him to play while I spectated armed with a Nerf gun. Mm. It was so silly, <laughs> but cemented RE4 as a lifelong favorite. Let's get that bonus game. Thank you for that story. I also got Snoop J, $40, <laughs> saying $10 for every evil that is resident in this run. Put it towards more resi. I appreciate that. I also got $25 from Orzen. Their comment reads, it wouldn't be Resident of Evil if not for the fancy costumes. Let's see Ada take the <laughs> run away while kicking butt. Thank you so much, everyone. There's the clock tower. <clears throat> now we're going into the clock tower section. This section, there's like one part that's a little bit scary, but it's not too bad. Um, basically, we just have to make our way up to the clock tower so we can get <clears throat> to the Salazar boss fight. Now hopefully the Scythe people decide to play nice. 
<laughs> yeah, anywhere there's scythe guys in this game, as you guys yeah. saw earlier with the death I took, you just killed me through the door, but <laughs> the scythe guys in this game are insane. They do so much damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Did not mean to throw a flashbang. <laughs> it, it's, it's fine. We made a save. <laughs> we made a save. <laughs> yeah. Close, close saves. So. <laughs> we need flashbangs. They're very important. Mm -hmm. Flashbang count is like a main part of the routing. You have to use them in very specific places, so. Yeah. That's what I meant to do. That's better. <laughs> So the clock tower here is, um, we know where the enemies are and we know generally what's scripted of them. So I'm not saying they're perfectly scripted, but it's a, not as RNG as it might appear. Um, however, some enemy behaviors, uh, if one enemy goes AWOL, then yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> it, it all goes off the rail very fast. But what Spice is going to do is he's going to kind of run around here, shoot a couple enemies with the shotgun to kind of get them out of his way, and then he's going to throw a flash. This is going to flash the enemies up the stairs. And so we can get up to the cutscene trigger of the of the guy who's going to drop the rolling ball, which is right here. Now we're going to also abuse the sniper scope glitch that we use for clipping, and we're going to push ourselves out. This makes our model go away from the ball and lets the ball roll down and hit all the enemies, so we can just go right on past it. Um, that is actually such a good skip because it lets us get right up here to this guy. He's like, hey, wait a minute. What are you doing here? <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Hello? And now we start the elevator climb, which this is um, a faithful recreation of what it was in the OG, uh, where we are riding this elevator all the way to the top. If an enemy jumps on the elevator at any point, it will stop. Um, this is uh, just like in the OG, entirely scripted. We know exactly where all the enemies are. As you can see, Spicy is just running around in circles because we know uh, what's going to happen here with these enemies. You hear a lot of sounds going off right yeah, now. Right? Yes, yeah, it's... it's <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on. It's because we have a couple of red zealots in the room that are chanting uh, for Plaga summoning. They actually don't do anything other than annoy you. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to like transform the enemies into Plagas here, but I don't. I think they get bugged out if you just ignore them. Like I don't, I don't really know what yeah. happens, with the, happens with them. Yeah, they're, they're just doing their own thing. They're, they're partying. Yeah, so pre-killing a lot of these enemies is, is basically what we want to do. We don't want this elevator to stop moving whatsoever. And if as soon as they do jump on, they get shot. Yeah. <laughs> they got to go. <laughs> you do get like a two-second leeway when they land to take them off before it starts to um, go mm -hmm. uh, get stopped. So thankfully yeah. they added that in this game. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Hey, buddy. Little peek. <laughs> Little peek -a this guy sometimes can spawn with so much HP that he'll actually tank two sniper shots, so... Oh, like that. Oh, not like that. Tough not guy. Like that. Three sniper Oh, like shots. that. <laughs> My goodness. That guy has a very hard head. I think he's still alive. <laughs> is he still alive? He is still alive. He's <laughs> still alive? <laughs> Was he dead? He's made oh, of okay. titanium oh, or joshing. something. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's just... He's just joshing. <laughs> <laughs> That should be the last thing we have to deal with here. We really want to try to preserve our shotgun ammo here. Luckily, we have like a good amount this run, but... Mm -hmm. As you saw earlier, Spicy got hit by a crossbow but took no damage. The vest, or the body armor in this game, is, is so incredibly strong, it will absorb an entire RPG shot. <laughs> it is cr it's literally a second life, essentially. It's very, very mm -hmm. good. Um, and now we get to bake a cake. Yeah, and I'm so, oh, like, we finally, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and so you, you've all probably been wondering, for those who haven't played this game or don't speedrun this game, uh, you're probably wondering, okay, you, you've been talking about <laughs> eggs this entire time. What is it about this golden egg? So it uh, turns out Salzar does not like golden eggs in the face. <laughs> allergies. <laughs> He's got the allergies. Mm -hmm. So it does an incredible amount of damage, like an insane amount of damage. So Spicy's going to be using a bit of that and I believe the sniper as well. Uh, it'll be the Magnum. Oh, the Magnum. Magnum. Okay. This, sorry. This, this boss fight has changed so many times. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Right to the face. Right to the face. <laughs> Easy peasy. And then we just blast it. If we get one crit, he'll die here. No, no crits. So we have to mm. reload one. One more yeah. bullet. Okay. That should be it. That there we go. That...
That golden egg thing is not a bug. <laughs> that, that, is that is intentional. intentional. <laughs> yep, because there is a side quest to throw an egg at a Salazar painting. It kind of alludes to the fact that you can throw an egg at him. It has to be a golden egg. You can kill him instantly with two golden eggs, but there's only two you can get, and they're one zot away. Mm. Yeah. No. Um, but I believe it does, like, 77,000 damage. It's so much damage. It's so much damage. Like that. Yeah, it's 75% of his health. Yeah. Without the extra, that boss is so tanky. Like, mm -hmm. so, so tanky on Pro. Mm -hmm. The combination of um, early routing, we were struggling a lot, but the combination of, like, Minda, skip in the beginning of her village plus that egg thing was found within like the within like two days and uh, it changed the run completely it made it so much better mm. yeah yeah uh, probably have time for a few donations here Crowser. of course of course of course we got 50 dollars from bananas <laughs> saying hey y'all <laughs> figured i'd aid a good cause and to meet that separate ways incentive no time to luis let's keep on sending in those gigante donations <laughs> krauser Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> really appreciate that. Thanks, buddy. We also got $5 from Green Wolf saying $5 train towards separate ways unlock. Woof, woof. I mean, <laughs> choo, choo. <laughs> choo, choo. Choo, choo. We also got $5 from Two of the Max saying we have to see separate ways. And yo, we're nearly $17,000 away. Everyone, you're doing great. Keep those donations coming on in for separate ways. Let's do it, everybody. <laughs> Woo. Woo. And that is the end of the castle. On to Island. Huge. <laughs> island is pretty chill for the most part. There's a few scary parts. Um, this is actually the shortest part of the game. Um, I think in OG, Island was a lot longer, but I think a lot got cut in uh, Remake. It's by far the shortest part of the run. <clears throat> this first chapter is, I think, the longest one in all of Island. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and one of the scariest parts of Island is coming up right here at the start of this chapter. If uh, Zeke wants to explain it when I get up here. Yeah, so we have what are called uh, turret skips. We actually have a couple of them in Island. Uh, see that big turret right there, <laughs> right next to Spicy? That thing is brutal. Uh, it is a one-shot kill. Um, for us, it is a couple-shot kill for everything else. Uh, but what's going to happen is uh, we have to kind of turn them away. As you just saw, he hit a button so we can go around it. We are not going to do that for a lot of them, specifically this one. Um, we would normally have to loop this whole area, but Spicy's going to run in here and he's going to shoot this guy. Um, and this is going to start the whole area. We need a cutscene to start, and the Spicy's going to line up a grenade throw. This grenade throw is very precise. We're going to knock that guy into the fire of the turret. And this is actually going to make it hit him and not us. And we're going to go up here and shoot this guy's arm. And that was so clean. That was so nice, good. Yeah. Um, we have another one of those later. That was the easy one. <laughs> yeah, that was the, uh, okay, that's not too bad. Then the next one. The other one's mm. fun. <laughs> the other one's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> no. Not for me, it's fun to watch. <laughs> Fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the turrets get scary because, like you said, they are one-hit kills. If anything goes wrong and you end up in that turret's laser when they're maybe not getting shot by it, you're just dead. Um, it ignores your armor completely. It instantly breaks your armor and kills you after, so... Oh, a little unlucky. Oh, oh hello. hello. We're still on hold, yeah. I'm gonna do a little tap tap. I know. That's a big of a deal unless he hits me here again. Frame trapped, okay, good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're chill. Didn't love that. We should put a little bit of armor <laughs> this low. <laughs> still having half armor here is okay. Mm -hmm. um, we do do a repair later. Uh, we can't like spam repairs for safety because it does cost a lot of money to repair your armor. Cause it's so strong. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go up here. Uh, basically what's going on right now story-wise is Ashley was taken by Krauser into this uh, prison and we're trying to find her in here. So let's go up here and unlock this door with this button. We got another little cheeky uh, bomb disarm skip, kind of like the Larry skip that a cat explained earlier. That's why he did. We're going to do that again, but this one saves just a little bit of time. Let's just, just clip through the wall, fall straight to the floor, <laughs> skips a little bit of walking. That's the easier one. I like that one because it's like it's kind of it's satisfying, yeah. but it's, it's a lot easier than the first one. <laughs> all right. Oh, Bull Boy's back. Yeah. These guys are all talk, though. They don't. <laughs> that guy sometimes is a little He's more a than talk. He's a Beyblade. Yeah, most of this uh, area is pretty free. Hmm. Um, I do need two nades here. Because I don't have two nades, I'm going to have to grab a safety one up here in this trash can. We'll use those later. Is Ashley in there? <laughs> <laughs> 
quick update. We are less than $17,000 away. Ooh. I'm getting separate ways on the schedule. Ooh, Everyone nice. keep those donations coming in. And uh, this area here is where we meet the scariest enemy in the game, uh, tier generators. If you haven't seen them in this game, if you've only played OG and you haven't seen them in this game, or if you just haven't seen them at all, they're yeah. terrifying. They're they're really, really scary. The way that they flop around in this game is really <laughs> freaky. They're so jiggly. Yeah. No. Capcom them. turned up the jiggle physics on these guys. <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> it's actually wild. It is very wild. They got goofy little smiles, though. They're not, they're not that scary. <laughs> they're scary if they touch you, though. Yeah. <laughs> Another set solution puzzle. There's actually a mm. handful of these types of puzzles throughout the game, um, but due to a skip we're going to see later, we skip all of them. <laughs> um, and it is a, a, a very cool one that you'll see. Blow this guy's leg off here so he's a little slower <laughs> chasing me. He was just hanging out. That yeah, was, that's pretty nice. He was, <laughs> was, just, he was just standing there. <laughs> Can't believe you do that. Had to do it to the big fella. <laughs> <laughs> And hopefully we hit this dodge right here. Yes. Yeah. Nice. First flop. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are really, really fast when they're on the mm. ground, flopping around like way faster than when they're standing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're kind of like a shark on land. It's <laughs> but terrifying. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. <laughs> So with the sniper clipping, there's a caveat that kind of happened during the clock tower that we were in earlier. If you sniper clip, the whole, the whole premise of what's happening is you're being pushed backwards, your model is, into places where it's not supposed to be able to go. Mm -hmm. um, Capcom did patch this out, but as you can see, what's, what Spicy's doing is he's using it to push himself into a wall. Since Spicy is in a wall and not technically in the room anymore, the enemy doesn't know what to do. It just knows that he's in this general area, so he's pushing into him. <laughs> um, you can see his little foot's right up there in the corner. Uh, oh, footies. Yeah, he's just hanging out. He's basically just standing here because he's like, well, I know, I just saw him. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where is this guy? Um, so we're waiting here until this uh, key card's done. Spicy's going to drop the scope and grab it, and hopefully we don't get auto-grabbed by him. Nice. nice. Quick update, less than $16,000 remaining for the bonus Ooh. game. Ooh. Ooh. Twitch chat, I know y'all out there enjoying this. If you love what you're seeing, exclamation donate, click the link, and get those donations put towards that incentive. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. So up here, I'm going to throw a flash for these enemies. There is um, another thing we have to do with their generators up here. Um, so we have to make sure these enemies do not aggro onto us. Yeah, let's flash at all of them. Nice. And then we should get a stealth kill on this guy. Mm-hmm. And then we get the thermal scope up here, and there's four generators in these tanks. Uh, Zeke, if you want to explain this, actually, so I can focus a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So this is an RNG section on which uh, enemy has the wrench inside. So we're going to put on the biosensor scope, and we're going to kind of look through and see which one ate the wrench for breakfast. Not that one, not that one. It's this fella. So we're going to try to line up as many collateral shots on those as we can so we can kill these guys. That's awesome. Oh, two that, is awesome. that is so yeah. rare. That's huge. Now we have to open this up and actually get the key card uh, registered through it. Uh, when we do this, a bunch of enemies are going to come into the room. Um, we can clip into the wall here to kind of break their AI, uh, kind of like we were doing earlier. Mm. However, there is a slight little caveat to this. There is a little bit of RNG, and we have enemies in here with explosives. Now, we're clipping into the wall where normal melee enemies can't hit you, right? But people with explosives, mm. they're just going to lob it anyway. Yeah, so, um, we're hoping that the door doesn't just get opened and they throw it through the door and they get a free kill on us. So we're hoping yeah. that doesn't happen. We do have a little bit of uh, the vest left, so mm -hmm. that shouldn't happen. Yeah, the armor will save you uh, from the explosives. It will zero your armor, but I mean, mm. it's better than just dying. Like how you so. just see okay. the arrow yeah. come out of nowhere and it's just like, is that in the room? Oh. It's <laughs> very, it gives you so much anxiety. Yeah. Um, we know this guy out here that also has an explosive. Spicy is going to... Oh, he's fifteen thousand dollars remaining, everyone. Ooh. Ooh. Keep those yeah. coming in, y'all. Very excited for that run. Mm -hmm. yeah, keep those things coming in. We are getting pretty, pretty close to the end here. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Would you say this has become a race between you finishing the game and Twitch mm -hmm. chat yeah. meeting that incentive? Mm -hmm. I want to lose the race. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch chat, can't let this guy win. Y'all know what to do. <laughs> y'all know what to do. That's the end of chapter thirteen. Woo! And now the greatest sniper clipping of all time. Bye, Ashley. You'll be missed. <laughs> I'll just hang out here, yeah. Yeah, you just, you just sit, just sit tight. These, these scope clips that get us through these doors, uh, this one is just a little baby one, saves about 10 seconds. This one up here saves multiple minutes. Oh, yeah. And 
awful fighting section and multiple puzzles were generators and everything. So normally you have to go and do this whole, see that big crane? We have to do a whole bunch of stuff with it. But there's a funny little door up here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're... Silly little it's door a right Silly there. little Boofy door. door. Doors are a suggestion. We'll go ahead and clip right through it. And we just skipped we're done. like so five much. minutes Basically of, of an entire, like a lot of the chapter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> $14,000 over seven ways, We got a $50 donation from Bobby. See, I need everyone to experience the awesomeness of back-to-back -back RE4 <laughs> professional runs tonight. Yes. I need Zeke to get on that stage and strut his stuff. Let's make the several ways happen, Chad. Woo! Woo! We, uh, we do have an elevator ride here, so it uh, might be a good time to read off mm. some of those donations we've been getting. Yeah. No problem. $50 from Clear Mind saying, Stranger, Stranger. <laughs> now that's a speed run. Let's see Ada's mad drip in separate ways. <laughs> Hype! No. Hype! You kindly. Oh, that's moving. Come on, everybody, get those donations coming in. We're about to button this up, y'all. Let's Flirt. do it! Flirting. <laughs> You can probably get another donation or two in here. Mm. Oh, yeah, we got five. Whoa, we got $500 from the Nasser saying, I've had to work all week and I'm tuning in just for the first time, and I am so happy it's RE4 is oh. the first game I get to watch this AGDQ. RE series is a special place in my heart. My best friend and I would rent. Yes, I'm that old. Each game of the series <laughs> and find a random walkthrough online and play all night to beat each game. So, this donation is dedicated to my best friend, Dan, for always being there. It's also donated to those who have fought cancer like my dad and my good friend Sonia, who are no longer with us. Donation goes to separate ways because it's more. R. E. 4. Thank you so much, Lanassa. We appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. I have a small inventory issue here. <laughs> it's fine. Worked out. I have another merchant stop up here to get ready for the Krauser fight. Um, $13,000 for me to get separate ways buttoned up. This is the final push. Everybody get his audacious in into separate ways. Let's do it. <laughs> Bye -bye. So, yeah, we got the Killer 7 set up here for this fight. This weapon is really strong against Krauser. And uh, we have a few things here that we do before this fight, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to explain, Grace. Yeah, so there's a ledge coming up, and before he drops down, he's actually going to throw a grenade over there. Um, that disarms a few traps that would be pretty annoying later. Um, that triggers the cutscene, which we're going to watch for about a minute um, until we cut it at the right time. Uh, that actually moves Krauser from his annoying original position around the bridge um, to a ledge, which causes him to fall off and actually disarms a trap for you. So that's very nice of him to do for us. <laughs> what, a, what a pleasant guy. I know, he's so kind. Yeah. What a nice guy. Mm. Yeah, we probably have time for donation here because we have to watch this for a while. So. Yeah. <laughs> actually, but first, but first, but first, come on. Oh, 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 Let me help with $5 from the K-Man saying, oh, Left y'all keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. I had a revelation. The most social the crowds are up for a little bit. <laughs> Pure unadulterated power. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for Leon to raise yeah. his fist and scream honor. <laughs> Let me skip. They're very dramatic. <laughs> Some honor, <laughs> <laughs> and we're out. <laughs> Basically, what this eleven thousand dollars for me to get Eleven thousand dollars, come on, chat. Let's keep it going. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Yeah, what this does usually is this is like the first phase of the fight it's supposed to be, and he usually will not let you just turn this wheel. He'll run up here and fight you, and you have to, you know, actually beat him before you can turn the wheel. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he falls down and hits a bear trap, and you don't see him. So. He's just out of there. He gets stuck in the bear trap. He got lost. No. He got a little lost. All right, so this whole section is, uh, we're kind of running, and a cross is going to show up in certain places. Um, but because we threw the grenade earlier... Nine. $9,000 left, everyone. $8,000 left. 
Twitch chat, come on! Woo! Come on! Come on. <laughs> They really don't want me to win the race. They really yeah, don't want you to win I race. think you're about to lose. <laughs> they said race, huh? <laughs> hmm. We're coming up on a little gauntlet here where Spicy's gonna have to run through some traps and, and beat Krauser uh, to the end to start the second phase of the Krauser fight and I guess gauntlet. Uh, so Spicy's gonna time a couple crouches here. He's gonna time one right now to skip that first shot. He's gonna time another one here in just a second. Dodge that one now with done correctly. Seven thousand dollars for me to separate way, Zeke. Zeke. Oh man! You feeling ready? I'm <laughs> ready. <laughs> Twitch chat is ready. The crowd is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh yeah! Uh, Spicy gonna do a couple Magnum shots on Krauser here. There's a weird little bug where if we shoot once here, Krauser loses thirty-two percent of his health from one bullet. We don't know why. <laughs> Six thousand oh. dollars left. I I think you might leave. I think we're getting. Yeah, yeah. I think we're I think we're getting that separate ways. I am so sorry, Spicy. <laughs> no, you keep going. I want to see this over Wiz run. Mm -hmm. And now we have Krauser, who's mutated, by the way. <laughs> big old big old blade on his arm now. Um, and we have the actual Krauser boss fight, which is going to rely on some very, very, very precise timed magnum shots that cannot miss, and, and some kicks. Um, so we're going to see the start of this fight. Spicy is going to juke backwards. He's going to do a shot to his head. Another one and another, and then he's going to kick, and do another one, and another pause buffered shot, very critical. Five nice thousand dodge. dollars left, everyone! One more, nice. nice. It's another one of those fights that uh, it's okay until it's not okay. <laughs> uh, I don't actually need this resource, I think I'm good. That's the end of the I got Magnum Ammo too, very good. Nice. More rich. Actually got very good drops this run. Mm -hmm. Now the chapter 14. That's chapter pretty close 14. to the end. Here. Woo! <laughs> Only two chapters left. Yeah. May I make a quick announcement? Of course. Yeah, sure. Awesome mm -hmm. Game Stunt Quick 2024 has raised over $1.3 million for the PCF. Thank you, everyone, for your Elamasonary contributions. Quick number. Hear a number soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got some new Welcome. Uh, here I'm going to sell the knife that I got from him, and I'm just going to repair my armor just to be a little safe in this area. Because this is another story. $4,000 left. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. It's the last push. Let's get those donations in, everyone. Zeke, if you want to explain what's going on here. Yeah, so what Spicy just did is he reloaded the save to reset the, the positions of all the enemies. He shot early there, because uh, then Mike's going to get the bat the signal. As you can see, he's showing up a little bit early, and he's going to start killing people. We need a certain amount of enemies to die before this next section starts, uh, and then we need to kill another certain amount. Mike is going to start blasting, and so we just need to get in position while he does that. This saves a bit of time. Mm. Um, stops us from having to wait for him. And now we're going to go up here and wait for... $3,000 after quote game and chat. Whatever y'all doing, Chad, keep on doing it. Let's break this out. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Might throw it a little bit there. All right, now the second part of the mic session is going to start. Mike. Spice is going to get on this uh, turret here, start blasting. <laughs> $2,000 left, Chad. $2,000 left, Chad. Sorry, Spice, yeah, I think you're going to lose, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm not winning. They're popping off. <laughs> we need to kill a certain amount of enemies for this section to end. Um, I believe now, it's 18. It should be good now. Yeah. yeah. Now we're just going to wait for Mike to get ready to blow up the door. Let's go, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's a real one. You, you just wants to take us to the bar. He's just helping out. Yeah. <laughs> I, for one, am excited to go to the bar with Mike. Mike sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> so up here, spot's a little scary. There's a bunch of stuff shooting at us. We're just going to ignore it <laughs> and hope that we don't get hit, pretty much. And we should be good. And then there's going to be a little cutscene again with Mike breaking this tower. We're going to watch this one because it puts the enemies on top of the ladder in a little bit of a better spot for us. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get pushed. Okay, we go. Mm. Now this is what we needed the other heavy grenade for. One thousand dollars left. Let's count this down and button up, everybody. Come on, come oh, on. We're getting close. 
Breaking that turret, very important, or else we can't progress the area. Nine hundred dollars left. Eight hundred dollars left. It's moving. Oh Seven hundred dollars left. <laughs> <laughs> There's that cutscene. Six hundred dollars left. Five hundred dollars left. <laughs> I'm not winning. You're not. Crazy. Woo! Let's go! Captain Ezekiel, may I make a brief announcement? You may. You are running separate ways tonight, my friend. Am I? And let me mute myself here. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for the $160,000 to get that bonus game onto the schedule. <laughs> yeah, spicy. Thank you, everyone. That's Thank you so much, time. everybody. <laughs> Congrats. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Great job, Twitch chat. There you go. So there's been a lot going on in yeah, this year. Yeah. The fact that he's been able to do this composure entirely while everyone's screaming around him, <laughs> kind of insane. He's just built different. He's he just is. built different. Um, that was War Room. A lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff happened, yes. but to kind of a kind of TLDR it. We got through it and did not die, um, which is already the hard part. But now we're setting up for a skip. I will not spoil. Um, we're gonna fall through the air for oh, a little I love bit. This one. That and, was a good um, one. You're gonna have a great time. I'm yeah, so excited. You guys are gonna <laughs> love this one. Uh, but we're not gonna see it pay off till a little bit later. But now comes probably one of the. Uh, hardest sections to uh, consistently do and get through without dying and having any issues because we're doing this skip setup. We can only do this once. We um. <laughs> Looks a little goofy right now, but it'll, it'll make sense later. Wait. Sort of. We'll get there eventually. It'll, it'll look there. goofy later yeah. also. Yeah, it'll also look it'll goofy look later. Hooray! Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> so... For that thing to work, though, we do have to make it through the whole next part without uh, dying or having to reload a save. So, hopefully, have a clean next section here so we can show off what mm -hmm. that actually does later. Bye, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I have 23 sniper bullets. That is insane. That's that, is, that is a lot. How many do you, you normally have like half of that? Yeah. Like, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Now, that skip also, you notice Spicy's a little slower. Um, he's going to remain that way. It makes this whole section a little bit harder, mm. um, and it's because of the skip um, that we're going to do. It is a very funny skip. It's a very cool, flashy time save. Super funny, and you, <laughs> you'll see why. A few, a few more, more door clips with the yeah. sniper there, yeah. Make a save just in case we do have to use it. <laughs> Hopefully we don't, because I really want to show off the... Mm. Yeah, crossing or everybody should be crossing their fingers right yeah. now because if we die at any time <laughs> at all, then that's little thing that we want to show off will not be happening. Mm -hmm. But we're crossing our fingers right now, I believe. So we're coming up on the actually hardest mm -hmm. uh, turret skip. Uh, that shot is unfortunate, but it's okay. Um, what's going to happen here is Spicy is going to pull out a flashbang and turn around, and he's going to flash the Nobis that are in the air, um, and he's going to stop them from bugging him. Now he's going to use the shotgun. Hopefully we get no crits, and we can knock this dude into the turret. That's one. That's two. One more. He's in the turret. Now awesome. we can run through. Nice. There we go. Let's go. Now, uh, Spicy, what, do you want to explain what's about the... Happen. I'll just let it happen. Okay. Just, I'll just yeah. let it happen. Just let it happen. Ashley's going to have a great time. I don't know if I'm capable of explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> Can it even be explained? No. So I will just say what it's called. It's called duffel bag glitch. That's, that's what we call this. Go pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> so... The best way we can compare it is, have you ever been in a Walmart and a screaming toddler is being carried by their parent? <laughs> Basically what we're doing. <laughs> uh, this is, um, we do have a little bit of a walking section, so if we have any more donations, I think that'd be a good time. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Zeke. We got $15 from the Wicked Goose saying, here's every RE scientist memo. Page one, I crossbred a silverback gorilla with a praying mantis, then gave it AK-47s for arms. <laughs> Bob's been poking it with a stick nonstop for 80 hours now. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't escape. Page two, it escaped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
Okay, so as you can see, the original animation of how mm. Ashley should be held. Yeah. And it just goes uh, right back to the other stuff. <laughs> There's a brief moment where he's like, yeah, I'll carry you normally. And that's chapter 15. Yeah, that's chapter 15. That's into the last chapter here, which is pretty short. Mm. Not long at all. It does have a bit of text still, though. Um, but then the uh, infinite ammo swap. Mm-hmm. Can get another uh, donation or two in here. Oh, thank you, Zeke. We got ourselves a $5 donation from Anonymous. Thank you for that generosity. Appreciate it. Spider-Man. <laughs> That's a quick. Let's see what else we got. We got ourselves uh, $50 from Musical Joker saying, What can I do for you, IGDQ hype? <laughs> no problem for you, stranger. Also got to mention Iggy Zig. Me? You are goaded for keeping the hype going. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank all of you who contributed to get the bonus game of the schedule. Y'all are amazing. Let's give them a hand. Woo! Good job, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thank you to everyone who pushed that. Mm-hmm. So reaching the final boss fight. Mm. Yeah. I believe that they, we do use the infinite rocket glitch again here, which mm. very, very useful for this final fight. Otherwise, uh, Saddler is going to be a little bouncy and all <laughs> over the place, and we don't want that. <laughs> so uh, infinite rocket glitch will happen. And this is actually a very hard one to pull yes, off. Yes, this one is timing tight. <laughs> very tight timing. Uh, Spicy is going to sell a bunch of stuff because now all we need now is our RPG. Um, the way this is going to work is the fight's going to start and Spicy is going to shoot a fire barrel. He has about five seconds after doing that to get in it, switch to the rocket, get the glitch done, and get away from it before Sadler drops. If Sadler staggers Spicy, it will break uh, the... Um, if he knocks him down, it'll break the glitch. So Spice is going to run away here. It's that fast. He's got it. And that's... Nice, nice. Very nice. That's the start of the fight. Now he uses the second and then for the second time. Nice. 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 Go. Goodbye, Sadler. Goodbye, Sadler. Woo. Get out of here. Very nice. And now coming up to the final uh, final section here. Yeah. No one's ever died here. No one. No. Not a Absolutely. single soul has died Who in this could? section. I mean, it's easy. It's free. It's Yeah, they say it's free. It's free. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can go into shoutouts now so we can wrap up as soon as we got here. Um, shoutouts to all the early runners of this game that helped route it. Uh, Captain Ezekiel, um, Cat, uh, Missing No, Orch, Trey, um, Dis, Distortion 2. Um, all the people that are around at the beginning when this game was popping off, it was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks to the tool makers, um, the, the Demented Salad, and uh, the people that made the, uh, Hunted, I think, that made the SRT that I'm using. Uh, these tools are so, like, it, it, it's crazy how much they help with, like, routing the game and figuring stuff out. And um, it's always nice when we have, like, updated timers whenever the game gets patches and stuff. So thank you to Salad for doing that. And uh, that's about it for my shoutouts. If you guys have anything. Yep. You, sh you guys should go check out Spicy. Mm, yeah. I agree, yeah. Twitch.tv oh. forward slash yeah, Spicy. Yeah, <laughs> hottest new speedrunner on Twitch. He, he destroys every game he touches. Pray he never comes over to mine. Uh, <laughs> very good at what he does. You know, mm -hmm. shout out to him for, um, you know, being as talented as he is at these games. Uh, he he's helps a lot with the recent Resident Evil titles in terms of routing them, you know, pushing them to what we thought would otherwise be impossible. So uh, this guy's gifted. Go to that the games. Mm. I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, I'll probably be streaming this game a bit after. Yeah. Yeah, big fan. Spicy was the <laughs> first person, I believe, right, to get a, a sub two hour? Yeah. Mm -hmm. First yeah. person to ever get sub two hours on, on, on this game. I do remember. I was there for that moment. It was crazy. It was mm. a crazy moment. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Bach. Yeah, when things get dicey, get spicy. That's what he used to always say when I went in the stream at the beginning of this game. It's so funny. Uh, because it's hilarious. Yeah, we're going to be coming up on time very soon. Uh, but yeah, thanks for thanks for having us on the couch. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, right. buddy. Thank you, guys. All right. As soon as we hit that white screen up there, yep. that's going to be time. And, and time. time. There we go. What a fantastic run. It was pretty good, honestly. Yeah. Good job, man. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. 
You're crazy. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you to GDQ for having me on. I really appreciate it. And we got that sub two hour RTA. No, what was the RTA? It was a 158 or something. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll take that. We take those. The estimate was a little tight, honestly. But <laughs> what, was the, what was the in game time? What were we looking we at there? That. That's yeah. typically how we time our, our, <laughs> our boards. Actually, we look at the in game timer. Yeah, because uh, the RTA and in game are so vastly different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we got. 147. Oh, 147. 147 nice. is pretty good. That's so good. Yeah, really that, good. yeah that's oh, actually really good. <laughs> that's crazy. I think my PB when I came was 143, so I mean, we're yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. really yeah. good for a marathon good. Nice run. Good job. All right. All right, yeah. That's it for yeah. me. I appreciate it.